Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, somebody sent me this tweet from the so-called, uh, you know, Tate Tutu family, whatever. And this guy is upset, you know, the brother of Andrew Tate. And he said, and I will show you, you see it already in the screen, in the thumb. He said, my brother has received thousands of letters from Muslim supporters around the world. Not a single Christian has sent me a letter. Now, this is, this is a very good news. I was worried that those filthy brothers, they will infect our children. The news came that the only one is infected is the Muslims because Islam support pimps. And you will see uh, many weird people they say in the comment, like one of them he says, when I ask a question about religion, I have 100 Muslim reach out and maybe two or one a Christian. Well, you are asking the wrong people. You want to ask about religion, you go to Twitter, you idiot. As you see, those who they are in Twitter, the Muslims, they support a pimp. So you are getting the wrong answer. Uh, I thought you were inspiring man to be great. This is seen inspiring to hate. Uh, how did you get uh, this conclusion? I don't know. People, they are discussing things. But what you see in the front of you is something showing us how stupid people are and how this man he expect he, he he think this idiot he think he is a christian this is come back he think he is a christian you are not you are the devil even your mother and your sister they dishonor you which mean their parents, their family, they are a good family. Even his own mother and his sister, they don't, they don't want, they, actually, they live in a small, tiny apartment. They don't take money from them. They don't accept their money. And they don't want to associate themselves with such a scam bag. Which is very good for me. Which means this guy, his family are not supported. They are not filthy like him. They are not going to take dirty money coming from vaginas. And here I have a question for all the Mohammedan. Why in the world you are supporting a pimp who already, already they found many women in his properties are doing business web camera now? This is telling us what Islam is about. You see, instead of the Muslims saying, you know what, this guy is not a Muslim. Wash his, their hand from, the, from him. No. They are supporting the pimp because in Islam, it's okay to be a pimp. Actually, it's a great honor to be a pimp. And this is in the Quran, chapter 24, verse number 33. Pimp business is lawful in Islam. Sleeping with minors is a business in Islam. It is God is good for them to do that. It's the grace of Allah. This is why they match together. You know, they are from the same business. Any, the, any religion in the world, doesn't matter what the name is, they will not support such a man i mean especially not only he is doing a, a web camera business and he's, he's he, he himself he called himself a pimp he called himself pimp not only that this guy is bragging about how he fooled women how he used them how he strangled them how he beat them how he f them how he uh, force them how he uh, uh, promised each one that he's in love with her and then he have six girlfriend in the same time and then he made them work for him to make him money 
how anyone can support such a man unless he is a scumbag like him. Only scumbags will support a scumbag because they have no dignity and they have zero ethic. And I'm so proud to say that Thank God, not a single Christian has sent me a letter because this is telling you who you are. Did you ask yourself why? This is a great news. Christians will not support a pimp. People who they are proud about using women and get you rich from them. Look, the clothes you wear, it is from pimp business. The shoes, the cars, everything you have, it is a pimp business. How in the world even, people, they even listen to you. Only sick ones, sick ones, mentally sick, zero ethic, they will listen to those people. You know, first time I heard about this person, I don't know this guy. They told me there's a guy, his name Andrew Tate, he converted to Islam. I said, okay, what, who is this guy? Why, you know, they said he's a kickboxer. So I said, oh, so what, you know, kickboxer? So what, why, why people you make a big deal about, you know, so, I mean, and then I searched his name in Google. And the first thing I got a video, a porn video. So I skipped that. I said, maybe that, you know, somebody put a name of somebody. So I skipped the first one. I skipped the second one. I click at the page. It says, look what he is doing, something like that. So I click and I saw a video of him masturbating on the camera. This is the one the world is busy with. What's wrong with those people? I mean, how sick the society is. The news, the media, the TV, Andrew Tate, his brother, his girlfriend, his girlfriend, she said, the girlfriend, the other said, the other friend, she said, I mean, uh, they are a bunch of scumbag, all of them. Why they are even in the media? Unless you are all of you sick. Why is even he is in TV? I mean, and, and I want to know, by the way, how those guys are in jail and they have a phone and they are tweeting. Do you see when I told you the money, what the money can do? So imagine you are arrested and the accusation is gang, organized crimes. And what we do, we give the mafia boss we give them a phone. Why they have a phone? They have phone with internet. Do you give them a TV too? Are they watching Netflix? Are they ordering lobsters and shrimp in jail? This is why when people, they told me, I said, well, you know, this is in Romania. This guy, he have at least $300 million. He will give $100 million. He will buy the whole town. He will give every, every day in the morning 10000 to the police chief where he is in jail. Every morning. He does nothing. Because there's no way this guy, he can tweet him and his brother and they are in jail. My personal belief that those guys will get out. They will get out. They will make an agreement to pay some money for this those girls who they accuse him. You know, the lawyer, he will contact them. How much you want? They just tell me how much you want. A million dollar? Take a million dollar. There are six girls, six million dollars. 
Bingo. This is his, uh, uh, by the way, this is how he think. I'm just trying to think like him now. Bingo. Six million dollars. Here we go. And they will drop the case. And then what we will have, he will have like he, like the, let's just say the public scenario, the public accusation like tax, of, tax of fraud, uh, uh, whatever fraud he have. But the major thing, they will get rid of it. He have a voice message. This guy is mentally an idiot. He sent a message to the girl he raped, saying, he, I love raping you. Which means he confessed. <laughs> it's already there. And he claimed in the same message that I am the most smart man in the world. You stupid idiot. If you are the most smart man, how you say and how you send such a message? <laughs> This guy, he is the kind who, you know, he, he worship himself. He think he is above the law because now he's above everybody. He have the money. All what it take is money. Just pay money. And now he live in Romania. So I bribe and life is good. And somehow, by the way, he's right. Because those scumbags who associate with him, you see, we are talking about victims, right? But you need to ask yourself, how those victims, they come to his trap? Unless they are stupid and they love money. And they worship money. What is the qualification of this guy to be your boyfriend? Just tell me. You see him driving a nice car. Fancy house. You like to be his girlfriend. So it is you. You're greedy. You're stupid. You worship money. You are following the devil to his nest. Oh, he trapped me. He trapped you. Yes, he is the devil. Why you let the devil play with you? His friends, they say, well, what do you expect to them to say? You say it's true? <laughs> and don't worry about if it is fake message because the court, they can verify it. You know, there is a, there is a uh, engineers and they can check pictures, audio, everything, if it is generated or true. So don't fool yourself with that. And if it's not fake, it's, it's fake, the court cannot use it because you can prove easy if it's fake or not. For many reason, simply is going to be in what's up coming from his phone. As simple as that. If you receive a message from my phone to you, and then you say to me, it's a fabricated message. Who is the stupid one? I believe I, so it's coming from my phone. Sent to you. So I ask somebody to fabricate the message and I put it in my WhatsApp and then I send it to you. Good luck with that. Remember, I have a degree in law. I'm not a barbershop guy. So you are, you are talking to somebody he is officially can work as a lawyer, even though I'm not working as a lawyer. So don't don't go with those silly stuff his friends say. I can show you his friends. They are his friends. I mean, do you see the intelligence? I can show you his friends. No problem. But you see, you need to remember, I mean... Are you going expect? Are you expecting the criminal to uh, to conf confess? Easy, but this guy, because he thought he is above the law, he sent message. He don't care. He don't care. Obviously, he don't. He bought seven passports for a reason. Why this person is obsessed with buying passports? You tell me. Because he is getting ready to flee. He knew he is a criminal. You see, each passport will cost you at least two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. 
to get a citizenship in those countries. You have to put money there. You buy it. Those cheap countries, they sell you citizenship. Actually, even in America, you can buy a citizenship if you have money. Always rich people are welcome everywhere. You can get citizenship in Australia, in Canada, in America, everywhere. Just bring your money. But every country have a price. Nobody welcome the poor, even if you are a pimp. Even if you are a drug dealer. All what they care for, do the papers, bring the money, pay the money, and this is your passport. You can go right now and search Investment Citizenship Australia, Canada, USA, etc. So this guy, because he trusts the money he have, he became, he think he is God, the top G. And because, you know, he knew, actually, even when he oppose, when he say things which sound extreme, he knew that this will give him the publicity. This is why he say them. And the stupid ones from your children's, they find that everybody in TV is perfectly correct. This guy is different, so they like him. The problem is that we have a particle correctness waves. Everybody became perfectly correct. Nobody want to say, this is red, this is white, this is yellow, this is a blue. Everybody saying it's the rainbow. When it is not. Because the stupid media, they censor the one who speak truly, this guy, he become famous. If everybody can say what he want, unless you are talking about killing people for sure, you know, let them say, let them say what they believe. But you cannot say gay, you cannot say lesbian, you cannot say uh, Muhammad, oh, Islamophobic, oh, is, uh, uh, homophobic, anything we say, it's a phobic, and then they censor you and they block you. And then people, they look for a window to breathe. I mean, everything is censored. This is one of the reasoning this person, he become famous. The liberal media, they are stupid. They are mentally ill. They think by censoring people, they can stop people. You cannot. What about refute them? What about you debate them? What about you get them busted with better idea? Anything you say, they don't agree with you, they censor you. Like, why my channel, I cannot have a donation? Because I don't go with the guideline of YouTube. But what I'm saying, what exactly I did, nothing. Am I teaching people to go to war and kill each other? So he is a scumbag, and those who censored him from the beginning, they are the one who promoted him. And they are a scumbag too. Bring this guy, let us have a debate, me and him, and everybody will die laughing in fight. They will die laughing at him. I find him the most stupid. You know, he's a talkative person, and he when he speak, he show you confidence. But in fact, he is very silly and very stupid. And because the ones are around him, they are a bunch of stupid too. This guy, he think he is smart. And actually, a sign of a, of, a, of a stupid man is the one who say, I am the most smart person in the planet. This is a phrase of a very foolish man. Only foolish men or women, they will say such a statement. He is the most, I am the most smart person in the planet.
You will never find a wise man saying, I am the most smart person in the planet. <laughs> never. Trust me. You will never, ever, ever, ever find a wise man saying such a statement. Only stupid, empty like a drum. You know, the drum make too much noise. Boom, 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 boom. But put a needle in the drum, the drum is gone. Just a needle. It's just gas. There's no brain. And about his success with money, I mean, anyone work in the in the pimp business will make money. Are you kidding me? They say that each one of those girls made an average of forty thousand euro a month. How much? Forty-five thousand euro a month. And we are talking about supposedly the good equality, quote unquote. Anyone working in this business will make money. What about drugs? You will make a lot of money. What about bank robbery? You will make way more money. <laughs> uh. Yeah, because they are accepting and loving? No. You see, the Muslims, when they support a pimp, they are showing their value. Who they stand with. Who they stand with. One person, he made a comment, says, Well, why you are angry from him? Don't your priest have sex with the children? Hold on. The one who is a priest, he have sex with the children. We spit on them and we throw them in jail like dogs. You praise them. You worship them. Actually, the guy, he have no shame. I mean, he is a pimp. And now, until now, the pimp operation business is working. And then he take the Quran with him to the court. Do you know why? Because the Quran is the manual, six manual pimp dictionary. If I am a person belong to a religion, and then this guy, he take my book with him to the court, I will be disgusted. I'm so happy that he did not take with him a Bible. That would be a big insult for us. And I wish this guy, his brother, he will convert to Islam too. We don't want garbage. This guy, he claimed to be Christian. Somebody tell him, you are not Christian. The Lord, he says, from their fruit, you shall know them. Not from their names or their last names or where they live or where they are born from. Shame on you to ask Christian to support you. Go and convert to Islam. We encourage you. So now both of you, you will become the customers of Allah. And he will give you a version. Don't you like to F? Go where you belong. You belong to the effing God. This is what Allah is, the effing God. When Allah, he promised you that you will have a penis will never go limp. What the name of that God is? Huh? When the Lord, he said, from their fruits you shall know them, that's go to the Quran. This is go to Muhammad teaching. From their fruit, you will know them. Muhammad was a rapist. Muhammad was a criminal. Muhammad, he kidnapped women. Muhammad, he, he forced women. He killed their family. He forced them to walk in the top of their own family. And then few meters away, he raped the women. When Muhammad, he say that he promised you a penis which will never go limp. Why? Why the promises about penises and limbs, penises? You tell me. 
What is the connection? Suppose you are talking about God. Remember, we are talking about God. What is the connection? I have a hadith actually. Which is speaking about Allah will import hookers. Allah will import hookers. You see, Allah and uh, and Tate they are in the same business, you know, literally. I have a bird. He wanna come inside my window. Can you believe it? I don't know why he keep coming. <clears throat> Little bird, beautiful actually. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> uh, God is good. Let us read this one together and see why Muhammad and Andrew Tate and his brother they are in one business and why the Muslim they support them. Read carefully and laugh at such a garbage cult. I see Andrew Tate is talking. Look at the personality. Look at the words. Look at the filth. Look at the topic. Look at the teaching. This is the University of Andrew Tate, Aka Muhammad. Peace be upon him. There is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives. This is the lowest reward, by the way. Two from the Horis and 70 from his inheritance from the people of hell, all of whom will have desirable front passages. And he will have a male member that will never become flaccid i.e. soft and limp isn't it? this is Andrew Tate's speech I would love to see Andrew Tate posting this in his Twitter can somebody contact him and say can you do us a favor please as long you are proud about being a pimp and you want to import hookers and you claim you are helping lonely men here we go. The low life Allah is a promising you a penis which is going to be good to go in the driveway, in the highway, in the roof, in the ceiling. I mean, your penis can go through anything. Will never go limp, even if you are hitting it with the concrete. This is your God. And this is why they support and rotate because they have the same God, the same value. Pimp support pimp. Imagine now you are going to the heaven of Allah and each time you are sitting, you have something coming in the front of your face. What is that? This is your penis. Especially Muhammad, he said in different hadith, it is endless. It is what? Endless. Somebody asking what is hadith? Hadith means the speech of Muhammad or something Muhammad he said. Have you ever heard of religion like this? Endless penis. A penis never go limp. Allah will import women from heaven. They are, what is a special, what, why they are in hell? Those women, why they are in hell? Because suppose they are hookers. Hooker is haram, brother, haram. They are, those are bad women, brother. They sleep around, brother, haram. But look, they will end in heaven. All 
hookers as long they look good as long they look good desirable front passages so brother can you explain to us this is brother good time friends but of all the very thing desirable front passages okay what does that mean Maybe Allah is talking about the faucet. What faucet is faucet? We're talking about the women. Women, they have a faucet. Where is the faucet? Okay, good breath. I understand that you are single. And you do not know that women have faucet. Like, the women have faucet. Where? I will explain to you. The women, they have a part in her body. It's called breath. And in the breath, there are nipples. And those nipples are the faucet. Like, what the heck? So Allah is talking about the nipples specifically. Great breath. I did not say any, I did not say the word nipples. I said faucet, and you are corrupting my words. What? Desirable front passages? What about her ass? I mean, what's wrong with the back? Did Allah miss something? desirable front passages and what is the front passages let me think i mean let me think should i open a porn website to look at them and see what he's talking about you are to weave a singer no my friend you are his son from fornication like your prophet who was born four years after his father death Get lost, coward, little kid. Are you happy to be smashed like a cockroach? Good for you. You know, I remember once I was in Asia and there is a building, a very busy building, and there's a big, huge cockroach. Unbelievable how big it is. I mean, in, the, in those areas, they grow really big. And everybody, there's hundreds of people, you know, going up and down stairs. But nobody step on the cockroach. They are avoiding him. So some people, they think, if you don't step on them because they are powerful. No, my friend, nobody want to get his shoes dirty. You are just a cockroach. Big one, small one, still you are a cockroach. And nobody want to go home and he have the smashed cockroach attached to their shoes. If you are not a cockroach, call me. Let us see how good you are. Prove to me that you are not. Speaking to me from the sewage, you don't dare even to put your head up. This is who you are. So, I'm so glad that nobody is supporting this filthy man from the Christian. And this guy is a crying for support from the Christians. Get lost. Go convert to Islam, your faith is come back. We don't want you. Don't claim. It's, it's a shame that you claim to be one of us. We don't want you. We don't want your garbage. Go sleep around. Go make money from vaginas. Go fool girls. I never saw somebody. You see, usually when a human being, he do something shameful, what he do? He don't go on public and say, I did this. Those people, they have no shame. I was dating six girls in the same time. Each one of them, she think I am the only one. Or she is the only one. He said that in public. Okay, now those girls who they are listening to him, what they will say? And then I made them work for me in the web camera business. So he lied and none of them was ever a prostitute. So he lured them into the business. He is the devil. He's proud about it. He said in his website, I have more than 30, sorry, 50% of the girls he sleep with 
who work with him for a camera business. 50% of them, they never been in the prostitution business ever before. How he get them into the business? He date them, make them believe that he loved them, shower them with gifts. The girl, she is happy now. She is going to marry a rich man. And obviously, most of them, they are coming from a very poor families who they never saw a fancy life ever. They don't even have a normal life. So he fooled them with his money and he trapped them by love. This is called jihad love, the Muslim they do. And then he get them into the prostitution business. And then he mentioned that the average of those girls, they will stay with you for a couple of months, not for long. Because as soon they find out that you are just lying to them, and they find out that they can make money by their own without you, they will leave you. This is what he teaches in his school. He have a school of pimping. This is not jihad love. What jihad love? Jihad love is to fool somebody and force them into your propaganda or your target. Which means you don't love them. You want to use them. So don't tell me this is not jihad love. Jihad love is a Muslim speaking to a girl, making her believe that he loves her in order to get something out of her. To use her. Do we have any Muslim? He is proud about Andrew Tate is willing to call me and tell me why he is proud. The one who is saying top ramen, the one saying it is that's not. Why you don't tell me why it's not? Just tell me why it's not jihad love. Are you a victim of jihad love too and you think you are going to be insulted for saying and admitting that this is what it is? Jihad love mean you are doing it for the sake of a duty. A duty. What is the duty of Andrew Tate? Is to get rich. Muhammad, his first marriage was jihad love. He married a very old woman compared to his age for the sake of her money and even the muslim you ask them why muhammad had many wives they say to you he's doing politics he's doing what politics but he's not a king what politics oh, oh he is a spreading islam but well, he's a prophet not a pimp so how you spread islam by if in a woman This is what jihad love is. That you take a woman, not because you care for her, but because you want to use her. She is a tool. And this guy, he dated all those women. He want to use them. They are a tool. He don't love any of them. The one who loves you, he marry you. He just don't F you and dump you. And he have six of, like you in the same time or 50 or 20. This is what love mean. But those people, they are using jihad love because it's for the sake of their agenda. I want you to debate him next week. Okay, my friend, don't tell me about next week. When next week come, let him come anytime. Next week, next month, next, next uh, century. Do we have any Muslim? He is a proud about Andrew Tate. He can tell us why he is a proud. Anyone? Yeah, it doesn't matter what they size. I'm sure he have a lot of money. He keeps speaking about putting his uh, his money in the corrupto uh, currency. 
So, you know, whatever they see is, you know, he will get out maybe with properly at least uh, 200 uh, million dollars at least. Their agenda, yes, their agenda. Don't be stupid. Agenda is to spread Islam. Agenda is to take your money. Agenda is to control you. Agenda that you are a fool. Make you think he believe you, you know, he love you, but he can have four like you. Their agenda. I mean, your answer is like a diarrhea. So what do you call it when somebody he marry you, but he don't love you? Or somebody he date you and he make you work in a sex camera business? If there is any man, he like his women to be naked in the front of the camera. And he love you. And then he take your money. And you are requesting you had a dear agenda. Don't come here again. I do not need more sick people here. Go and join Andrew Tate. Page. Stupid. It's very embarrassing that a woman, a woman is the one who don't agree. Question, why don't you think, what do you think about corrupto currency? I think this is a, it's a corrupto currency, which means you will end being screwed. <laughs> it's a, it's an account online. If you lose your password, you lost everything. And that will tell you the whole story. Good luck. <laughs> I believe only foolish people, they invest in such a business. Only greedy people, you know, because they worship money. Uh, they invest in such a money. You don't know where your money is going. Do you know? Do you know the location of the business? You know where, who's, who's behind it? You don't know anything. Here we go. Look how many companies, they go bankrupt. They stole your money. You, simply, you get screwed. Because you are greedy. And when you are greedy, you are blind. When you are blind, everybody can screw you. What do you mean you can have it on offline? You cannot have anything online. What are you talking about? This is a joke. If it's offline, that means it's a money. It's not corrupt or money no more. Anyway, none of my business. Money is your business. I'm not going to tell you what to do and what not to do with your business. All right? Uh, yeah, look what Harun Abdullah is posting for us. He is saying to us, Allah is the best of the deceivers. And this is actually where the name of my book, Deception of Allah, came from. Thank you, Harun. Allah is the best of the deceivers. And this is exactly what Andrew Tate, he does. He deceives women. He is Allah. Andrew Tate is Allah himself. Look, this guy is posting this for us. Wallahu khayrul makirin. Allah is the best of deceivers. Good for you, my friend. Now you confirm that Islam is the religion of the devil. Devilish. This is why your prophet is a pimp. His name is Andrew Tate. His previous name is Muhammad. The one he's saying, the word coward, why you don't call me and let us see who is the coward? I challenge you to prove me wrong. I said your prophet is a pimp. Prove me wrong. Isn't it your prophet? He exchanged Sophia with four slaves with Dahi al-Kalbi. Have you ever heard of a man exchanging women with other men? Take four from mine. I will give you and give me one of yours. Do you want me to do you want to call me and I will show you? Isn't you Muslims you have a chapters in your book it says borrowing a vagina is ti'aratul furuj? Have you ever heard of any religion in the world they have such a chapter borrowing a vagina? 
The strange is, I did not find the chapter of borrowing a penis. And I wonder why. Who is the coward? You know if you call me, I will show it on the screen and I will force you to read it and then you will be like a potato. This is why you don't dare. So you cry, you call me names, but you don't dare to get me busted because you know, everything I say, I can back it up in a second. This is your religion. When we show people this, is that my fabrication? What kind of God, he promised me, he tempted me to believe in him in order to make the penis happy. Hey, penis, do you see penis? Should we convert to this religion? The penis says, yum, 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 yes, please, yes, yes. So this God is speaking to your penis. He's not speaking to your brain. What is the argument? Why I should believe in Allah? Oh, because you will give me women to F. And they are highly skilled in F in business. They are imported even from foreign country, from hell. They are hot. They have a desirable front passages. Like you see, Allah did not say, oh, because they repent. Oh, because they are, you know, now they feel sorry. No. Why he is importing them? Because they have desirable front passages. Mm. Shut up, you idiot. Speaking about people lying about them, we laugh at you. What about you call me and show me the court document of your prophet? When you speak against people, you idiot, we laugh at you. We are talking about God and Prophet. Prophet Andrew Tate, Aka Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, the son of Abdullah. Do we have any brave Muslim? When a Muslim he attack somebody, like this guy he is attacking Sam Shamoon, well, we can say whatever you want about him. His shoes is better than you. And he's not a pimp. And he's not a child molester. And he's not a thief. So what do you want to have? What do you want to say? What about we look at the court document of your prophet? Shall we? And those documents written by you. Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, the Quran. What about the Quran? The son of Muhammad, he came to Muhammad, he said to him, eh, Father, I want to divorce this woman. She hurt me. She's a bad woman. She's a bad woman, but Muhammad want to take, take her. So Muhammad, he said to him, No, no, no. Keep your women, man. Why you want to divorce her? But 15 minutes ago, he was in his house, flirting and having sex with the women. This is the document, my friend. It's in the front of you. Have you ever heard of a God? He said to his prophet, why you don't take her? Why you say to the husband, keep your women? Why? The God who encouraged a man to sleep with married women and to take her from her husband. The prophet, he went to the house of his own son when the, hu when the husband is not there and he flirt with the wife. That is Andrew Tate. This is Andrew Tate. Do you think Andrew Tate, he will care if you are married? He will not. To his own son, he will not. You know what? Maybe Andrew Tate, he have more honor. He will not do that to his son. Maybe. I'm not sure. I know he's evil, but I don't think he will go that evil. I mean, go to his own son, wife, like Muhammad. This is your document in front of you. Is that made by the Christians or the Jews or the Hindus or who? Who wrote this Quran? And why this God is 
involved in this i mean this is god the one who created the galaxy he is mentioning the name of zaid who is zaid i mean guys isn't it weird this is god god look how big this universe i mean the earth all of it is not even a piece of dust little dust in the in the massive universe and now this god he knew zaid and he mentioned him in the quran why because Muhammad, he liked the wife of Zaid. Praise be to Allah. Allah, he want Muhammad to be happy. So he mentioned the name of the husband. And not only that, Zainab, she said, that each time and rotate, he tried to have sex with her. Allah, he made his penis swell. Because obviously, by the way, the husband is a pimp. He knew that Muhammad now is sleeping with her, his wife, and he do nothing. What he go? He go to his father and said, Father, you know, I don't want her really. He came home and the wife now, they, they decide it's time to tell him to make it clear. Come on. Enough is enough. So he came home, the wife, she said to him, Oh, your father, he was here. And by the way, he said this and this to me. What he said? He said, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. Now the guy, even in Arabic, it says in the Muslim books, Fatina Zaid. He got it. Ask any Arab person what Fatina mean. Fatina Zaid. He got it. His father is screwing his wife. So what he do? He go to Muhammad because he knew Muhammad is evil. He can kill him. He said, let me get rid of her before they do kill me and find any reason to kill me. So he came to his father and he said to him, Hey father, and rotate Muhammad. I don't want her. I don't want her. Muhammad, because he's a hypocrite, come back. He says, keep it, man. Keep her, man. Keep her. Why you want to divorce your wife? Why? I mean, the guy, he was just there flirting with the wife and now he's telling the husband, keep her. <laughs> this is your prophet. And rotate. Copy paste. Do you believe in, in reincarnation? Look like your prophet, he came back alive again and he opened a web camera business. Actually, Prophet Muhammad, police be upon him, is the first one who come with virtual sex, which will be later real sex. Isn't it Muhammad? He said, in the heaven, there is a market. There's a market. Nothing is sold there. Nothing is bought there or sold there except images of men and women. And if the man, he like the image, he enter it and he, which means he will F it. Excuse my language. We are speaking about Islam. Do you see it? This is the first early virtual magazine sex. But the difference here, you enter the image and then you have sex with the image. And rotate. He is stealing his business from Prophet Muhammad. Okay, we have somebody he is saying is a Muslim. Let us see. Do you see it? The Messenger of Allah said, in paradise, there is no, there is a market. There's what? There's a market, pimp market, in which nothing is bought, is bought or sold except images of men and women. Remember careful, carefully, men and women. If a man like the image, he enter into it. And boom, boom. Do you see it? This is Muhammad. Can you deny it? Is that our speech? Is that our a court document? Or this is your court document? The prophet of decency.
and rotate, he have a web camera business, images. If you like a woman, you can contact them and they will make her available if you are around. What do you think, Mohammedan? <clears throat> Hello? How are you doing, my friend? I'm fine. So you are a Muslim? What does that mean? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Who said to you that Alhamdulillah mean? Praise be to Allah. No. Do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? Alhamd means thanks to, not praise. No, it's not the same. No, it's not the same. No. Anyway, so you are calling me to say what? I will give you ten. Uh, I will give you ten, 20 hours, but there is no need for a minute. You can speak. It's open. The mic is open. Well, the question is: Is Andrew Tate is copying your prophet to work as a pimp? Okay. So, is if there is any evidence in the Quran that he can work as a pimp? Oh, all right, no problem. Do you, do you have your Quran with you? All right, okay. Open your Quran and go with me to this verse. And tell me what translation you are reading so I can put it in the screen for you. Chapter 24, verse number 33. 33, yeah. All right. Uh-huh. 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 All right. All right. Allah is ever forgiving, most merciful. What do you What do you understand about this verse? Well, you tell me. Sorry, uh, guys. No, uh, 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 sorry, tell guys. You, the, his voice was uh, you not tell coming. Me. You tell me first, please. Okay. It tell says. It says, "Force not your girls into prostitution if they desire chastity." Correct. No, it doesn't say that. It says that. Read it. it um. Do not. <laughs> those who hang on, who cannot those who cannot find the means to marry. Continue. Yeah, if any slaves you own want to make a contract to free themselves, write it for them. If you know good, if you know of good in them, and give them some of the wealth Allah has given you. Do not force your slave girls to prostitute themselves if they desire to be virtuous women. So you see, do not force. Yeah, do not force if they desire, if they desire. So if they agree to be prostitute, yeah. it's fine, yeah. correct? That's not true. That's it, not true. It says do not force them. No, it says there's a condition. Don't stop oh, there. No. Don't, st don't stop there. Don't stop there. It says force them do not have, if they but, desire. If Do not force your, your force, slave girls. Yes, if. To if, if they desire to be. Thank you. So, do you. so do you see the word if? If they desire just a chase, so if they don't want to do the business, don't force them. And not only that, and if you force them, Allah is all merciful. No, that's not true. That, that it's in the front of you. Mean... It's in the front of you. If they desire a chase, okay. Do you... clearly, okay. It clearly says here. Okay, you said, hang on a minute. You can, can we time each other, please? Because I want to respect My the friend, pain. There's all. no time. You, you are talking. I'm not can, stopping you. Go ahead. Can I, speak then? can I speak then, please? You are speaking. Who's holding you? Okay. Don't interrupt me, please, because that's what you do. <laughs> well, you can interrupt that's me too. You can interrupt me. No problem. Don't cry. That's what I'm saying. Let's go 
crime because people want to watch and listen as Christians. Exactly. You know I mean? Yeah. But, but, but and we're having a conversation right. in the same time. We are two people. They have microphone open so you cannot cry. Go ahead. It says if the desire is chaste and we can open the interpretation for it. It's not up to you. We have Muslim scholars explaining those verses. No way it says you can force that. In fact, forcing a woman to be like a prostitute is wrong. It, it's haram in Islam. There's no okay. other verse here. That's Where, so what is and the you know, punishment for forcing a woman to be a prostitute in Islam? G give me give me the answer. Well, first of all, it's it's not even halal to force a woman. So, my friend, so, my friend, don't waste my time. It says there, it's not, it says there, it's not, if you force so, them, listen, listen, yeah. it says, if you force them, is Allah is all merciful. In Islam, if you, if you do something wrong, there's a penalty for it. It says the one who do this, beat them. The one who do that, cut their hand. The one who do this, stone them. Here you see, if they choose to be chaste, and if you force them, Allah is all merciful, which may not a big deal. <laughs> well, you do know that uh, prostitution in, in Islam is haram. It's not. That's it a lie. Here, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's that's. A, prove it. Prove yeah. it. Go ahead. Prove it. Can you give me well it says yeah don't force them which means don't no make no them no right. no you see it says don't force them if they choose to be chaste which means if they agree there's a condition if they agree it is halal if you force them still it's fine because there's no penalty allah is all merciful wait a minute I'm gonna, are you aware that um the slaves can actually go and do their own stuff as well like despite being slaves and that my friend so, my friend hey. don't 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 drink seven up and jump seven st uh, steps i'm asking you does it say there don't force their slaves he's not talking about the slaves doing it he's talking about you as a muslim owning women you kidnap them from their houses and now you are forcing them to do don't business don't that's what he says don't force what do you understand no, in it that? says don't force them if they choose chaste which means if they agree, what what a pimp he do usually, like Andrew Tate, what he do? He bring those girls and he tell them, I will make you rich, open your camera and be a hooker. This is what your Quran is saying. If they agree, it's fine. And if you force them, it's fine too. Allah is all merciful. <laughs> Honestly, man, Christian Prince, you just twist things about, man, about the Quran. It's in the front it's of amazing. you and we can open no. the interpretation. Okay, where's your interpretation of it? Because okay. there's no way Islam okay. that says this. What you choose? What about you? Choose for me the interpretation you want, and I will put it in the screen. Okay, what I'm saying is, yeah, you're not allowed to force my a friend, woman. My friend, my friend, my friend. Why you are saying to me? Why you are saying to me? Where's your interpretation? But you don't want to show me the interpretation. What about we, me and you? We show the yeah. interpretation, and everybody will see. Okay, you you interpret for me then. Go on. I just did. I'm asking you what interpretation you like me to show you. But the Quran clearly stated, do not force them. No, the Quran says, if they choose, and if you do force them, it is still okay. Allah is merciful. <laughs> Those who cannot find the means to marry should be. What marriage? This is not a married marriage. I mean, you're, you're, you know, and actually the word marriage does not exist. It says nikah, nikah, which means to F, to F. Not to marry. This is a false translation. Nikahan. <laughs> you see, this is your problem, Christian Prince. This uh -huh. is your problem. You're uh -huh. going wrong. This, yeah. this is a stupid, a stupid guy who keep. Uh, uh, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a there's yeah. an idiot. He keep texting me. He keep calling. He knew that we are talking, and he keep calling. Let me block him. This guy is an idiot. Just give me a second, please. Fine. Okay. All right. I mean, some people they have they have mental issue. And they know we are talking and they are calling non-stop so they can bother our conversation. Well, look, right, Prince, yeah. so my if friend, my friend listen, 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 listen. When you want to yeah. prove something, when you prove something, I'm using your yeah. book. I'm not bringing my own. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I am not making things. I showed you the reference and the word is so clear. And you Muslim, you claim that Allah, he made the Quran so clear. Correct? Isn't yeah. the Quran says which means we made it so clear? Yes, yes. All right. So now how come you don't see it clear? It says if they choose to be chased, for uh -huh. them not. So what is the condition? You know, you know what? There's a verse in the Quran where it says, if we don't know, ask. Okay. Ask. Ask who? Uh, the, ask who? Knows. And the one that knows is the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No, 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 no. 
the Quran says no. The Quran says, "Ask the Christians." Mate, when it says when it says ask the Christians, yeah, it's referring to the Arab pagans who didn't know. No, no. Yes. Here we go. Let me show you the Quran, my friend. You do not know what you do not know what you believe in. Okay, let me show you the Quran. Let me show you the Quran. You so we don't want to make speeches, you know. It says yeah. actually. Can we do it? Hold on, hold please. on. One by one. Hold on. Okay. Hmm? Can we do a timing, please? The Quran. Stop, stop one. crying. We can talk in the same time, you know, and there, nobody okay, is stopping on. you from talking. So what the timing for? So here, chapter 10, verse number 94 says, If you have a doubt about what we reveal to you, Muhammad, go and ask the Christians and the Jews. Chapter again, 10, verse number 94. So what you are saying absolutely is false. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, wait. Mm. Just wait one second, please. Let me switch to English. <clears throat> okay, because the Prophet uh -huh. uh, at the time uh -huh. at the time yeah he was it was quite new. Okay? Oh he's a new in the business. No, no, wait, hang on, hang on. Uh -huh. can, I, can I finish? Can I pl please don't interrupt me? That's not okay, fair. Okay, is okay, it? okay, not fair. Uh -huh. Okay, because like, because he was new in new in what um, revelations, receiving things about these things. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay. When Allah, when Allah says to him that, yeah, hmm. for him, so that he can know, yeah, these, these things are actually in these things, but it doesn't mean that to go and confirm. Can it. you read the verse for me? Can you read the verse for me so I can understand how you get it this way? I said, if you're in doubt okay. about what we have. Hmm. What we have sent to you, right. and ask those who were reciting the okay. book before you, which means asking the people who were reciting, like the Jews and that kind of people. It's, okay. it's normally the Jews because did, the Christians did you, did were. Did you there just say to me if you are in doubt? Look, the prophet. Look, no, the prophet, did, you, did you just say, did, my friend? Did, did you just say the word if you are in doubt? Is that correct? You said that, or I'm. Hearing it's, something it's, wrong. It's not actually talking about not actually believing. It's about actually to go and actually see these things. To say, oh, to, yeah, to, to, what? Like, to what? To what? To what? To what? To the what? I don't. <laughs> what? Look, look. Do you really believe like the the, the Torah and the Injil? Yeah, you don't share topic. Yeah? Don't share topic. Is that, he is no, in no, doubt. The, he's in doubt in what? He's in. He's in doubt. No, he's in doubt. In, your prophet is in doubt in what? Let me finish, please. Let me finish, please. Yeah, uh -huh. it's fair, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the Quran is here to confirm the Torah and the Injil. Yeah. Mm. Now, not every single story in in the Torah is correct because if you look at the stories, yeah, in the Quran, it um and the Torah, the same stories but they're different. One, I give you an example. Yeah, Aaron, in the Bible. Yeah, mm. when Moses went down to the went up to the mountain to speak to Allah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he left Aaron to be in charge, it uh -huh. says in there, hmm. Aaron, alayhi salam, he created an idol for the um, the Jews to worship it. The hmm. Quran, he says, it's not him. He was threatened hmm. and um, he was overpowered. Okay. There's a man there let us, called let us finish. Let us, let, let us finish this one, and we will go to the story of Aaron, and everybody will laugh, my friend, because what you are saying is really is 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 a is a, is a, is a silly thing. But listen, listen. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, the Quran never say the Quran never say the Quran convert confirms some of the Bible. The Quran confirm no. the Quran. We will go after we finish this one. I promise you. Let's go, go there. On. Okay. So now let us finish this one. So you said that your prophet he was in doubt because he was in you. Did you say that, or I'm I'm making things up? No, 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 no. It's it's Allah that's actually telling him. Look. Basically, these things they are also in the other scriptures. But it doesn't mean like he's in doubt. Like he, no, no, no. He you said I ask. I'm asking. Let me repeat. Let me repeat. Let me, you are not listening. You are not listening. You are not listening, my friend. You said. You said he is in doubt. Allah, He told him to go and ask the Christian and the Jews because he was new in the revelation. Correct. Yes, he was new then, okay. and because but this is a chapter because, number fifty-one, my friend. This is a chapter fifty-one in the Quran. Chapter fifty-one. Okay, look, he, he didn't even let me finish. That's not fair. So, how you know? he is in you in the business of a prophethood, and this is in chapter 51 according to the book of Revelation, according to, to Revelation, which means 
Now in the Quran you have it number 10, but in fact, in the real Quran, in the Quran which is not corrupted yet, it is 51. You can open any Islamic website. It says that the chapter of Yunus is a chapter number 51. It's not 10. So when you say to me, because he's in you, this is laughable. Now Muhammad is 50% he received the Quran. And now you are saying to me, he is in you? No, listen, listen. When I say new, I'm not talking about he's new, new, like from the beginning. Because he's somebody, basically, yeah, if you look at the whole Arabian Peninsula, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. most of them, most of them, yeah, except Medina, Medina area, uh -huh. most of them don't even believe in the God of Abraham. Uh -huh. So throughout these things, yeah, when uh -huh. I say new, it's because he's new in this kind of religion since the age of 40, not like from day one. I'm not talking about from day one. I'm talking about throughout his whole career as a prophet, yeah? So he's a new so, win. What, what do you mean? How many years to, to be new? Consider still new. I'm not using the the, the the years. I'm talking about throughout throughout his whole his whole career as a prophet. Yeah. Okay. So when you I, are saying to me that Muhammad now he received he received 50, 51 chapter of the Quran. Still, he me, have a doubt about what he is receiving. When when Allah says that, yeah, Allah just wants to reinforce reinforced him yeah with that kind of stuff that's fine in um in the old days of the prophet allah re reinforces them you know what i mean hmm. but allah, okay allah but you said to me but you said to me that our yeah. book is not perfectly preserved and now your god is asking muhammad to go and ask yeah. those who corrupted their book to confirm to him that he is a prophet don't you think this is a really stupid how they are corrupting how they are corrupting how they are bad how they are okay, hypocrite, how they are kuffar. Isn't it the Quran called the Christians kuffar? Isn't it the Quran okay. called the Jews kuffar? So how are you I, asking the kuffar? Go, Muhammad, to I, the kuffar and ask them to confirm to you that you are a prophet. Go ahead. <laughs> Can I talk? Okay. Hmm. Now, when Allah is talking about, yeah, to, to go to the people of the book, yeah, to check their stories, uh -huh. it's not actually saying every single thing there is correct. Where do you get um, this from? Where do you get this from? How do I get it? Because the Quran contradicts, yeah, the uh -huh. the Bible, like Aaron, the story of okay, Aaron. But Aaron hold on, the but Bible, but the uh, but the Quran, but the Quran never have a story of Aaron. Where is the story of Aaron in the Quran? It's um, uh, I think Surah Al Taha, something like that. Let there is no story of Aaron. What Aaron? What Aaron did in the Quran? Go, let us laugh. Uh, okay, this is the pro let me finish then. Let so you're making talking. things up. You are making things up. And if I ask you now, if I ask, listen, if I ask you where Aaron was, who was Musa, you do not know. Who is Abraham, you do not know. Who is Israel, you do not know. Who is Jibreel, you do not know. So don't don't mix things up. So let, let me ask you. You said, you said because the Quran, you said because the Quran contradict the Bible. But which one came first? The Bible. So if the Quran contradict, that means the Quran is invalid. And now let me ask you, does the Quran, does the Quran contradict, does the Quran contradict the Quran? Okay, can I talk now, please? Mm, go please. Ahead. Yeah. Okay. Do you read? It says in the Bible, Aaron created an idol for the Jews to worship. Do you accept that? My friend, we will go to there. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Please. Anything in the Bible. Anything the Bible yes. say, give me the verse and we can confirm or we refuse. So I'm asking you. Anything in the Bible I accept. You said it's contradict. You said that, correct? Yes, because okay. the Bible. So, is how you control. accept the man? How you accept the man who never met Aaron? He never witnessed Aaron. He was not there to tell you about Aaron. God was there. God okay. witnessed it. The Quran says that Aaron is the brother. Okay, uh, uh, the Quran says that Aaron, Aaron is the brother of Mary. Well, that one. Can I talk that one, please? Don't interrupt me. Can I talk that go, one, please? Go ahead. Okay. When the Quran talks about. Um, uh, it says, oh, sister of Arun to the mother of Jesus, yeah? Uh -huh. That's in reference, that, that's in reference to so, yeah? That, that that family comes from the line of Aaron. False. Which is a fact. Because, no, false, false, false. They are, they are two <laughs> different, hold on. They are two different tribes. They are two, no, two different tribes. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, Stop. secondly, hold on. We are talking, you know, me and you, it's okay. It's a conversation because if I let you go, you get away with something. I cannot do that, my friend. Hold on. No, <laughs> if you are, uh, first of all, I don't say the sister, uh, if you are, a, if you are coming from the, lead, from the, from the seed of somebody, I don't say the sister, I say the daughter. I say, the daughter, okay. 
not no, the sister, sister not the sister because if she is just in, in the time of, of uh, her time she is born then the guy who is talking about him if he is exist hundreds and maybe a thousand years before then we don't call her the sister of this guy first he is higher than her he's a prophet secondly if he she is from yes. his seed as you claim then we should say it, the daughter of Aaron not the sister of Aaron so how they become sister and brother and now, and now if we go in the Quran listen who is the father of the father of mm -hmm. of, yeah. uh, of Aaron who is the father of Aaron okay can I can I answer please without interrupting me go ahead who is the right? father of Aaron you agree at least give me two minutes please please My friend, we can talk in the yeah. same time it's okay I mean I'm, 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 I am muting you no you can talk okay. no problem at least let me finish then, please. Yeah. Okay. It's who, fair, is the, who is the father of Aaron? Okay, Aaron, the mm. old Aaron in the Bible, yeah, uh -huh. with uh -huh. the brother of Moses. His father's name is Imran. Yeah. Thank you very much. Who is the father of Mary in the Quran? Let me finish, let me finish then, please. Yeah. Uh huh. Now, um, Mariam, the the mother of Jesus. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. His father, his name is either Imran or metaphorically. Ah, metaphorically. metaphorically, metaphorically. Okay, wait. hold on. Listen, listen. Wait, let me finish. Let me finish, please. Why you don't do this? It's not fair. No, no problem. Fair, no please. problem. Can you prove it to me that it's metaphorically? Again, again, to show to you, yeah, that line, um, the family of um, uh, Mary, Mary's father, and that family, yeah, hmm. they come from direct descent of Imran and Arun, the brother, um, of Moses. Because if you look at it, the Messiah. And um, the, the the people that will control the temple, mm -hmm. yeah, they are descendants of Harun alayhi salam. That is why Isa alayhi salam, okay. Jesus come from that family. All right, all right. So, all right. okay. Sure, but can you sure show me now? It. Can you show me where how you get the conclusion from the Quran? You are a Muslim. You are a Muslim. How you can? Okay. So how you get the conclusion that when the Quran says that Mary she is the daughter of Amran, this is not the real name. It was a metaphorical. Where do you get this from? Because if you look at it, yeah, Imran, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, mm -hmm. no, I said it's either his proper name or metaphorically. That's why I said. No, don't I tell me either. Give me an answer. Right? This is not potato, right? tomato. No, no, no video, you said okay? you. No, you said you said it is a metaphorical name. Now you are hey, you, you are biting your tongue. Metaphoric. That's what I said. Okay. Don't change. Don't change okay. what I said. So please, it is right? not a real name of the father of Mary. You agree? It could be. Hey, or, or it could not be. That's what I what said. What do you mean? Could be? Could not be? What is? What kind of answer? This answer. So look, look. So look now. What we have? We confirm. We confirm that the father of Aaron, the father of Aaron, is Amran, as you said. And now yeah. Aaron, he have a sister. Her name is Maryam. Do we agree? Okay. Can I explain that one as well. So listen. Uh, if you go, if you go to the, the book of Exodus, chapter four, chapter two, you will see that Mary, uh, 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 the daughter of Amram, Amram, your prophet, do not even know how to quote the name. And Aaron yep. and, and, and his sister, sister Miriam. So Miriam is the sister of Aaron. Okay, this is true. Can I explain that, so please, Muhammad, right? he thought, and then there's a Jewish rabbi, he came and he told what him, mean? he told hmm. Aisha, this so, is wrong. There's hundreds of years between them. So Aisha, she told Muhammad, and now Muhammad tried to fix it, but it's too late because already he spoke about Imran, that he is the father of Mary. And when I ask you about Mary being the daughter of Imran, what you said, it's metaphorical. And then a two minutes after, you. You did bite your so tongue and you say, ah, oh, maybe, word. maybe it's true That's name. It. No, listen, listen. Don't, no, no, listen. I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me. I want you to confirm. Is it a metaphorical okay. name? Is it a metaphorical name? Or it is? No. I said to you, hmm. it's either metaphorical or either his proper name. Due to, due to the link of family from Aaron and so, Imran. So he is not, the so, the, so the real father of Mary is not Amran. Do we agree? The real the no the real father of Mary the mother of Jesus yeah yeah his name is either Imran or metaphorically this Ooh, is what I'm saying okay I'm asking you give me an answer is it possible that this is his real name or not it's possible it's his real name or it's just a, in a metaphorical way to show okay. how in the is, world Mary name became the father her name became Amran and that why why the chapter is called chapter of Al-Umran? And you said to me metaphorical. Tell me what metaphorical for. Do you know what even Umran mean? Do you know what Umran mean? I don't know the meaning of Imran. So no, how that know. can be metaphorical? Is no, it the Quran? I, 
My friend, oh, my friend, I, Muslims always they lie. Muslims are I, always they lie, and we get them busted. Look what the Quran says. The Quran I, says that Amran, Amran, he said to his wife. So when you say to me that this is possible to be metaphorical, we are laughing, you know, for what you said. <laughs> let me talk. Please. Because let because talk, the, because the verse says it clearly, you know, and you are making things up. Amran, he said to his wife, and the wife of Amran, she said to her husband, and now you are saying to me it's a metaphorical name. How in the world you say such a thing? No, when I say metaphorical, what I meant is that, yeah, because sometimes, yeah, they um, they may call you, yeah, in the name of your ancestor no. as, a, as a way of showing respect. The, the Quran, like, no, like, the Quran, the Quran says the wife of Amran, the wife of Amran, the wife of Amran, she said, the wife of Amran, not the daughter, the sister, etc., and sister, no. We are talking about the family now. So the wife of Amran, she said, who said that? Open chapter three, verse number 36. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, wife, the wife of Imran, yeah. Yeah. So why you are saying to me still, why why you Muslims, you are lying and saying, oh, I'm you know what? Uh, uh, you're, not even, you're not even letting me explain. You see, this is your problem. You no, support, no, you, you explain you, already, but this is not what it says. You, you, it says she okay. is the wife of Amran. Does it say metaphor? Uh, does it say he is calling the ancestor? So now look what you do. When he say the sister of Aaron, you say metaphorical because she is from river, blah, blah, blah. Now we have the okay. wife of Amran. You say this is metaphorical because it's a blah, 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 blah. That is funny. And and Amran, he have nothing to do. Amran, the father of Aaron, have nothing to do with the father of Mary. Nothing. True. But... Can I can I talk one minute, please? Please don't please for one minute for the viewers, okay, please. Go, go, go. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Can we do timing, please? Don't worry about the timing. You are crying too much, yeah, okay. but you give me nothing. Okay, fine, fine, fine. One minute. One minute. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Aaron, the brother of Moses, yeah, he is the direct descendant of that family. Listen to me carefully. Who, 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 He's the who? Even the Jews confirmed that the Messiah, hang on, the, the Jews confirmed the Messiah mm. is a direct descendant of Aaron. That's where people like, even um, the priesthood family comes from Aaron. Ah, That's true, isn't it? The, the, the Jews, they confirmed that. Okay, can you give me the reference? Can you give me the reference? Can you give me the reference? My friend, my friend, my friend. No, no, I will not let you continue for 20 minutes saying nothing because I want reference. Can you give me the reference where the Jews confirm that Mary, she is descendant of Aaron? You see, you said, I said one minute, you're not even letting me talk. You said the Jews. Yes, 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 my friend, because I like, I don't let people keep keep going forever saying nothing. I, I don't want to waste my time. You said the Jews, you said the Jews, the Jews, the Jews, the Jews, the Jews. Okay. Can you show me where the Jews they say that Mary she is descended from Aaron? Go and check it. You're gonna find. I don't yes. want to check it. You check it. You are the scholar. Okay. I'm learning from you. And if Mary, my friend, if let us say for the sake of argument, Mary she is descended from Santa Claus, not from Aaron, huh? What does this have to do with the name? It says the wife of Aaron. It says the the the, the, the wife of uh, of Amran. Amran is the father of Moses. What does this have to do with our topic? So you are trying to find a way to escape, and even your Islamic interpretation says that, yes, this is the name of the father of Mary. So now we have the same name of the father. We have Maryam. She is the sister of Aaron. And we have the Quran confirmed that. And, and now, listen, 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 just to make it simple. Can you consider the Quran a book of history? It's, it's a book of from uh, from Allah subhanahu wa taala. I mean, can it's you can you take history. can you take history from the Quran? Yes, if if it's from Allah, yes. Okay. Take it. As long you are expert with the uh, with with the uh, like you have some knowledge in the in the Jews. Uh, when we say the summary, the summary where they are exist. Well, a summary. Uh huh. Apparently, I mean, I've seen a little bit about them. They're about this. A form of uh, a type of Judaism and that. Ah. I don't know where. I don't know um, okay. where they are. Okay. Was a Samari yeah. exist in the time of Aaron? Remember, you are the one who mentioned that before. You said Aaron. Yes, the Quran okay. It. Yes. The so, Quran who is it, the yeah. one who mislead the Jews? Is it does it say the Samari? Yes, it does say it. Yeah. Okay. The in, the, in the time of Aaron, in history, in the books of the Jews, the Samari was there. Okay. At what? At what time? 
You tell me which time no, the sun, which, I, which time, already, which time, already, my friend, what time, already, what time, I'm what time, what time, what time the Samarian, they will exist in the, look, in the time of Musa? Look, in the time of, believe, no, you tell me, you tell me, or they exist in the time of Musa? To worship, do you believe our great idol? Don't change the to topic, you see? We will see if he no. did or not. We will see if this is true or not. No, listen, listen. You, the Quran says that the Samari came and he misled them, correct? That's right, yeah. Okay, but there was no Samari at that time exist. There was, because the Quran says it, there was. Ah, so because the Quran says, ah, uh -huh. but no, we have books, we have books of history proving, have nothing to do with Judaism or Christianity, saying that right. this is absolutely cannot be true. Even those books what written by by a scholar of, of geography, biography, and they say this is absolutely false. I will make it simple for everybody. So now we ask you about the pimp. The Quran says, force them not if they choose a chastity. You fail to give me any proof that it's forbidden in the Quran because it says it clearly, you can be a pimp. We have tons of, uh, if we book, if we open the book, if we open the book of Muwatta Malik, it even tell you how you can examine a woman and if you touch her private part in the market, you have to take her. So don't tell me this is Islam, my friend. Omar al Khattab, Omar al Khattab, Omar al Khattab, he did beat a woman because she covered herself. And he said to her, Do you want to act like a free woman? And he did beat her. And they used to serve food, and their breast is bouncing. I can show you the reference. But now let us go to the Quran, which one you are saying that you believe in it. You said, that hundred percent. You say you said that you said something very important. The Quran contradict the Bible, correct? Well, yeah, because the Bible has got things wrong, so it's, it's there to correct okay. them. Well, until now, I showed you many things. It is the new Quran, the Quran wrong. But I want to ask you. I want to ask you a very simple thing in the front of everybody. Okay, which one Allah created first, the mountains or the stars? Do you know what? I don't, I don't remember the back of my head for that one. But it's, it, it, these creations are in the Quran. No, but I don't no, know. no, 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 no. You can take your, time, take your time, take what your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. Here we go. I will sit and quiet. You guys. What does it matter though? Mountains it matter. Created. It matter for me. You will see why. Why? You see, isn't why? It, isn't it, this is the book correct? The Bible. Can you tell me why? Are you scared to tell me the answer? Why that matters? Are you scared why? to tell me the answer? Are you scared no, to tell you me the tell answer? No, tell me why. Okay, okay, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared. Go on, tell okay, me why. Okay, I will not tell you until you give me the answer. I'm not going to give you the answer because why? it's not necessary. What's no, the do you know why? Because if you give me the answer, everybody, if you give me the answer, my friend, then everybody will know that your God is a potato God. He cannot be God. Okay, have you ever heard? Really, have you ever that? heard of someone do not remember which one he created first? Look, it, that doesn't matter to us as long as it's in the Quran. Ah, believe me, that's so you are the one said that uh, the Quran contradict the, the Bible, and now we are showing you that the Quran contradict the Quran. Isn't it the Quran says if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction? Right, yeah, and there's none, there's no contradictions there. So, so then, then tell me, here we go. This is the challenge. Then tell me, the then tell the me, Quran. then tell me which one Allah created first, the mountains or the stars. Okay, can you show me the reference there then, please? Where it says that? Why well, you didn't tell me. me? I did not say any, I did not say anything yet. I'm look, asking you look, which look, one created look, first. Look, 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 the Quran is a big book here. Yeah? It's, it's a, a big, big book. book. Um, My so friend, all your Quran, all your Quran, all your Quran, all your Quran is not even in the size of the index of my book. So don't tell me it's a big book. This is why you can <laughs> memorize it. It's an index. Yeah. How many pages you can? I saw a guy. He wrote the Quran in a matchbox, matchbox size. So it is so okay. tiny, so small. So I'm asking you now. Why it is okay? Okay. Listen, 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 listen. I'm going to give you a verse. I'm going to give you a verse on the Quran, and you tell yeah, me. Go on. You tell me, based on this verse, what you think. Go on. All right. Are you going back to your internet to find out stuff? Chapter 2, verse number 29. You know oh, chapter, two, chapter 2, verse number 29. Read it for us, please. Okay. 229. Hmm. How come you don't face people to debate people face to face? I am facing people. I'm, I'm speaking to your no, ass no, now. No, no, like, am I speaking like, to your ass? No, I mean like people like Sam Shamoon will face people. people I, you like know, them. for me, for me, I'm not handsome, my friend, like you. You like to be in camera. I'm not a camera guy. 
<laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Come yeah, on. You can yeah, face yeah. a problem. Yeah. You can wear you can wear niqab, you know, and come no, on. You, face your God, Allah, he wear niqab, my friend. Don't you know no, Allah he wear hijab? No, 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 hold on, that. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are trying to insult me. Isn't it true that your Allah he wear hijab? No, Allah doesn't wear hijab. Okay, let's go to the Quran. Here we go. Let's have a look. Okay, hold on. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Don't then don't, don't change. We will go. We will go there. Hold on. Here we go. This is your God, Allah. He will not speak to anyone except from behind the hijab. Why you are lying saying Allah don't wear hijab? You try to insult yeah, me. Says, chapter 42, says, cha me. chapter chapter 42, verse number 51. It says, where, where, Allah where? will not speak to anyone except from behind a veil. Okay, can I talk now, please? So your God, Allah, is a female and he wear hijab. Yet? This is your problem. You keep interrupting people. You don't let people because speak. Because you try to insult me and you think you can get away with it. You cannot. You are talking to Christian Prince, my friend. I smash your God like a potato. Okay, so we, we just him? found, you said to me, you can work a hijab. You can wear a hijab. When your Muslim, his name is Mimi Hijab, Muhammad Hijab. I, and your God, Allah, he don't speak except from behind the hijab. Can you explain to can us I what I hijab of Allah? Please. Can I talk, please? Go ahead. Okay, you didn't even you didn't even let me go to that chapter. We will two. go back. We will go back. Don't worry. We did not skip it. You keep, you keep skipping things. Just no, you are the people. one. You are the one who okay, mentioned the hijab. If you behave yourself, if you behave yourself, we will not be now getting your god busted. He wear a hijab. He's a female. Go ahead. Where do you want to go now? Okay, tell me where. Which chapter? Go to the Quran, chapter 20, uh, 42, verse number fifty-one. The hijab of Allah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Chapter what? Sorry, can you repeat, please? Chapter forty-two. Chapter forty-two. What chapter is verse again, number sorry? Ver, verse number fifty. Yeah. Fifty. Uh, sorry, hold on. Uh, yeah. Uh, chapter uh, forty-two, verse number fifty-one. Okay. Okay. Let me read it out. Please don't interrupt. Yeah. Please. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. It says it does not befit Allah to address any human being except by inspiration or from behind a veil. Or he sends a messenger who then reveals by his permission whatever he wills. He is indeed most high, all wise. Uh, he is indeed most high, most uh, all wise. Okay. Mm. Can I respond, please, to this? Okay, go ahead. Thank you. When Allah says the veil here, it's not actually talking about the physical veil like women wearing veil. Uh, this is to show the people. Hang on. Let me let me let me finish. Please. I didn't say anything. Continue. Go ahead. Please, let me finish. I just yeah? said, ah, oh, that's all. I didn't say anything. Go ahead. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, this verse is actually talking about metaphorical veil, which means Allah doesn't actually allow oh, people to see. Oh, it's a metaphorical veil. You see, anything yeah, I show you, anything I show you, it's a metaphorical. The name of, you know, of Mary, Father, it's a metaphorical. The okay. Mary, she is the sister of Aaron, it's a metaphorical. Allah is wearing a veil like a girl. It's a metaphorical. Oh, no, listen, 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 listen. Can you give me any proof or reference say this is metaphorical? Because hmm. when it says here, from behind a veil, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. Allah doesn't need to wear a veil how for you know? people. How you know? How you know? How you know? This is your problem. You keep, this is what you do to Muslims. You see, you, I'm just you, talking to you. I did not mute you, my friend. We're having a conversation. You know, we are drinking tea together. How you know? How you know? Can I talk now? How you know? Okay. How do I know? Because yeah. I know that, yeah, uh -huh. me and you and every human being in history has never seen God. Okay? Even mm. even angels don't see God. Why? Mm. Because Allah put a veil there, mm. not like women's wearing a veil, mm. to, to put something there where... There's not even a barrier between us, but you can't see you can't see Allah. Uh -huh. It's like the jinns. But hang on, it's like the jinns. Some jinn, some jinns, yeah. You can't see them unless they want to reveal themselves to you. Hmm. But there's no veil there, like ladies wearing a veil. There's so, nothing there. But you said he put something between you and him, so you don't see him. You just said that. You said something. No, when I say yeah, hmm. that something is yeah. Allah basically uses his power yeah. To mm. put a block without putting, actually, sorry, without putting something there. It, it's a power that basically stops us from seeing Allah. But it's not a veil like ladies. Oh. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. So, so are Allah, you saying to me, Allah, he used the word hijab and he was mistaken. Yeah. He should use the word power. 
there's a veil here. Veil, 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 veil can mean also metaphorically. It doesn't mean physically. Okay. You know that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, anything we say, we say it's possible, it's possible. So the Quran is a book of possibility, correct? No, no. You know, even the Bible has got metaphorical things. You know that yourself. I'm asking so you. You see, you, 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 are, you, keep, you keep running away from the answer. I'm saying, when you say it's possible, it is metaphorical, possible to be metaphorical, is it is it possible to be true hail? Is it possible to be true hijab? Is it true? Is it possible to be true hijab? When it says veil, when it says veil, it's actually showing, yeah? Yeah, we can't see Allah. That's what it means by a veil. No, it says from behind a veil. Behind. So he is behind that thing. No, he's not. It says that. Read it. Not a physical veil. Not how do you, know you know it's not a physical? How do you know it's not a physical? Need a physical okay. veil. Is Allah is Allah is a physical person? Well, like a human being. I'm asking you a question. Don't play. Answer, don't play a rubber. Don't don't play a rubber. He bounce in the floor. Is he a physical being? Like a human being or just a? Did being? I say to you like a human being or a cat? I said, is he a physical being? Yes, Allah is a physical being. Okay, yeah. that mean he have a physical veil. For a physical being, he no, can it doesn't mean listen, listen, he, listen. He is a physical being, which means he can be seen. Correct. Um, Allah doesn't need like me and you. Like if I see you and mm. I want to hide from you to put a veil, mm. Allah doesn't need that. So what he need? So what he need? Allah can just do it like that, or we can't see him, just like but that. But he said a veil. He said the word veil, not me. That veil is metaphorically. Okay, I've just but he you. said from behind the veil, and now you are making it metaphorically, when there is no proof of the metaphorical of it, he said the veil, and the word in Arabic is so clear, and he said the word behind. He didn't say he put between you like uh, something uh, to, 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 to avoid you from seeing him. No, he said from behind the veil, which means he is in the behind, you are in the front. That's not true. Okay. Metaphorically, uh, I just told you the veil means metaphorically, mate. Okay. Okay. okay hold on. Uh, uh, are you Muslim when you go to heaven, you will see Allah? In heaven, yeah. It it says um, Muslims who are righteous, like let's say the prophets of Allah, hmm. and every Friday they, they will. But this dunya, what what they what Allah. they would do every Friday? What they would do every Friday? Okay. Can I respond, please? Go ahead. Okay, in this in this dunya, no human being can see Allah, <laughs> even the prophets of Allah. Okay, no human being because Musa al Islam in Surah Surah Al Taha or somewhere, one of the mm. chapters, yeah, mm. he requested to see Allah, and Allah said to him, "It's it's not possible to see me." That's why Musa al Islam fainted mm. when you know Allah tried to reveal Himself, Musa, just to show him you cannot see Allah. Okay, so in this dunya, hang on, wait, let me finish. In this dunya. Mm. There's no one can even angels don't see the physical form of Allah. Okay. Are you is that is that clarified? I will, I will, okay, I will go with you. But you said to and me, wait, you said to me, wait, wait, okay, hold on. Wait, you said to me, let me every me Friday, me. every Friday in heaven, yes. you, will, you will see Allah, correct? Every yes, Friday, you will see Allah, huh? yes. Uh, the Prophet, وسلم, I think, in one of the um. Um, hadith, it says the pious ones, like the prophets of Allah, every Juma, yeah, they will see Allah. Why? Because that's heaven. That's heaven. That's not the world here. Okay. What, what will happen? In, in, what will happen every Friday? Yeah, can you, if you can just let me a little bit information. But look, I don't know everything because what Allah revealed to us the through the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hmm. That's all I know. Is that every Friday, the ones who are pious, like prophets of Allah, every Friday they will see Allah. Okay, that's mm. enough for me to know that. Okay, I don't need to go and lie to you. Okay, I will, I, then I will give you the information. According to the uh, your prophet story, every Friday, yeah. every every yeah. Thursday, an angel will come yeah. to you and will give you a card to invite you to the party of Allah, and then mm. there is a chair for every Muslim. You sit in your mm -hmm. chair, and then there's a three singers will stand on the stage and they will sing, starting from David, then Muhammad, then Allah. Is that correct? Where is this? I mean, I don't have the hadith with me, but is this in the hadith? This is in the hadith, yes. And they will sing for you, and then Allah, each time one of them he sing, he asks you, they will sing, they will, uh, David will sing, they will sing the psalm, and Muhammad will recite the chapter of Muhammad from the Quran, 
and Allah will recite at the chapter of Ar-Rahman. And then each okay. time Allah, he asked you, have you ever heard something better than this? So now we have, and you are a person who is speaking about uh, logic and etc. We have a God, he making a, a party every Friday and the same three singers singing the same song for eternity. And he keep asking you the same question every Friday. Have you ever seen something better than this? And you say, no, we swear Allah, but you just saw this last week and the week before it and the week before it. Have you ever heard of a God making American Idol program every Friday, the same song, the same singers, and they are three winners only? So, my friend, your religion is a silly, stupid religion. Now, let us go. Let us go to the verse. Hold on. Let us go to the verse which we skip. You know, you you say to me, Allah veil is a is a is a metaphorical, but you fail to prove it to me. You fail miserably, isn't it? The Quran says that Allah was in the fire. Okay, go on. Where okay. does he say that? So I don't know why each time I say to you, you say to me where it says that. I thought you are the Muslim. I am, but look, when you say this here, like I just told you, the Quran is a massive book. Sometimes I need reference. Ah, massive in the size of index of my what phone book. Want, okay, want, chapter can, chapter 27, want, chapter 27, yeah. verse number 8. Who was in the fire and he was a blessed one? Hang on, hang on. 27. Verse number 8. Yeah, <clears throat> look, just just not me knowing it from my head. It doesn't mean I don't know the Quran. Come on, don't do that. No problem. I'm sure I'm sure you don't remember everything in the Quran, in the Bible in your head, man. True, Come true. on. Yeah. Okay. Um. Which which verse? Chapter twenty seven, the chapter of ants. The Quran yeah, is like yeah, a book of zoo. Verse. Yes. Which verse? Yeah. Verse number eight. Okay. Okay. Give give me a second. Hmm. Okay, can I read it out for you? Go ahead. It says, But when he reached it, a voice called out to him, Blessed to him who is by the fire, and all who are around it. Glory be to Allah, the Lord of the whole world. Who is in Musa. the fire? Hang on, wait. I, I need to read the whole thing for the context. Okay, when take Musa your time. I think it's a metaphorical too. Okay, hang on. When Musa said to his people, I can make out a fire, I'll bring you news from it, or at least a burning brand, so that hopefully you will be able to warm. This is Musa's family when he's, he was about to rec receive his first revelation. But when he reached it, a voice called out out of the fire, blessed be to him who is by the fire, and all who are around it, glory be to Allah, and the lords of the whole world. Now, Yes. Okay. Yes. Can, what's your What's your problem with this verse? Who Who is the one in the fire? Allah is not the fire. The fire is just. There I did not say. I did not say Allah is the fire. No. I said who is in the no. fire. No one. It's just the fire there like that. Okay, guys. Did you be my witness? He said no one is in the fire. Did you just say that? Yes, I did say that. So your God Allah did lie because it says bless the one is in the fire. Bless. The one is by the fire, not in is the fire. Is in the fire. No, no. <laughs> by the it's fire. In the fire. And the one no. is around the fire. Okay, give me the translation you are reading. Okay. Can I read it again? It says No, don't read it again. You did read it already. I want to show everybody that you are not telling the truth. Give me the translation you are reading. No, you're not telling the truth. It so says give me by. a translation. I will put it in the screen. Give me a translation. Who is the translator you are reading okay. from? Um I'm not sure you know this person, you know. Oh, uh, so you take anyway. a Quran from Shish Kebab Hummus guy, you do not know who is translating, and you take it for granted, huh? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, no, 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 anyway, not this, anyway. This, this, no, 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 no. So now a religious Muslim, he grab a book I, translated by Mickey Mouse, translated by um, Mickey Mouse. He don't know even who is the translator. You are lying. The book is there. It says who's translator. You are afraid I that I will put it in the screen and then everybody will laugh at your lie. Okay, give me the translation, the translator name. Okay, so, so so now you're making a fool of yourself. I do know the translator's name. It's actually here. So why you, you don't me? tell me? I asked you. I said, I, know, I don't know who. I was about to tell you. I was about to tell you, Christian Prince. Okay, okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, go ahead. Come on, man. Come on, you got to have patience, okay? Okay, tell me, go ahead. We've got to respect each other, man, no matter how much difference okay, you have. Okay, in okay man, okay. Okay, this one is Abdul Haq and Aisha Bewley. 
Abdul Abdul Haq what? Abdul Haq Bewley and Aisha Bewley. What uh, is that in English? Well, this man I, I, I've actually met him personally. He's a convert, but he's changed his name to Abdul Haq. Ah, uh, he but changed his, his gender. Okay, so how a convert? No, he do not know Arabic. He trans he translated the Quran. Change the name, not gender. Oh, uh, okay. So he is a, a person who converted to Islam yesterday, and now he is explaining the Quran to you by his translation. Well, I'm sure he um, got together with people who know Quran very well to help him. Can you call him? Can you call him to join us so we can laugh more? No, no. I mean, I okay. Don't know well, here we go. This is the this is the Quran. You can open any Islamic website. It says in Arabic. Okay, what Burika, say there, hold on, you see, just to show you that you are being a fool. I'm not insulting you. To to take a Quran from somebody is an idiot. Burika man fi nor man hawlaha. You can copy this sentence, post it in Google, and you will see. And not only that, you can go and see any translation, any translator, and you will see. It says, like an example, this is here. This is a translation in the Muslim website. Let us see who is the translator here. This is. Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan together they have a translation it says but when he come to it he was called blessed is who is ever in the fire not in by the fire in the fire the and the one the who is around the fire right look the fire by the way is not Allah it was there for the attention of don't Musa, change the topic the I'm not attention. I'm not this is not my question I'm asking you does it say the one is in the fire? Um, no, it doesn't say that actually. So you are taking a, you are taking a lie. So now we have a new Quran. There's a Quran made by Abdul. What his name is the name? Um, Abdul Haq. Abdul Bewley. Haq. Abdul Haq. What? Bully. 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 So Mr. Yeah. Abdul Haq Bully. He made a new I Quran. Didn't bully. I, didn't take... bully. <laughs> I don't know. I don't didn't understand your accent, my friend. Stop touching your nose. It's okay. You are lying. It's okay. I'm so listen. I'm so you are saying uh, Abdul Haq bully. He is bullying the book nose. of Allah. He did Stop bully. Okay, listen. Eye. So he did bully the book of Allah and he is taking words of the Quran. And now you follow the book of the bully, not the true Quran. Bully where? Well, this is a bully. He is bullying Allah. He took words from the Quran. The verse it says, "Blessed is the one is in the fire." You said to me, "There's no in the fire." So this guy, he took the whole sentence. He took the whole sentence out. Can I talk? Can I talk, please? Talk, talk. That's his surname. So don't try and say he's bullying the Quran. <laughs> well, all right. Anyway. So what do you mean? Um, so what anyway. do you mean? If it's not there, he's bullying Allah. He's making fun of you, all of you Muslims. And you are buying his book. And you are buying his book. And you are taking it as a Quran now. You don't even let me speak. <laughs> you see, this is your tactics. Christian tell me about, tell me about this bully who bullied Allah. This is my tactic, my friend. You cannot answer. You are lying about your book. You are saying it's not there. Okay. Can I talk? Okay, a challenge between me and you. Do you have any other translation? Agree with this guy. Can I talk, please? You can talk. Please, please don't Tell do me that. more about Mr. Bully. Okay. Abdul the Bully. Now, let, let me talk, yeah? It won't be long. It won't be long, okay? Uh -huh. At least it won't be long, okay? Uh -huh. Now, this fire is there for Musa alayhi salam to get the attention so that he can go to the exact location there. Uh -huh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let, let me continue. That's why when he arrived uh -huh. there, uh -huh. Allah, Allah commanded him, take off your shoes because you are in a holy place hmm. a holy ground so the fire there was the attention yeah to show to musa al -Islam to come to that place but allah is not actually in the fire allah is just speaking to musa al -Islam. from so where the fire from where it's nothing to do with allah from where no you can talk to allah yeah yeah no, no, anywhere no. allah doesn't have to be there physically no it doesn't have you to say be it physically. no you just said that allah it's told like, him okay. it's like I, I give an example yeah no, no don't give an example hold on hold on hold on isn't it the wait, verse wait, in the Quran? Wait, Isn't it the wait, verse wait, in the Quran says take point, you just said point. you just said point. Allah you just said Allah told him to take off his shoes because this is a holy ground, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. What make it holy? Is that the existence of Allah or because this fire is a holy fire and you Muslims are Hindus or Persian who worship the fire? Well, Muslims don't worship the fire. So Where what make the ground from? holy? What make the ground holy if Allah is not there? Okay. Uh, there are places in this world that are holy. I'll give you an example, yeah? Uh -huh. Makkah. Makkah. Makkah is, is a holy place. Are you sure? But let, let's 
let me respond then, please. Let mm. me respond. <laughs> Makkah is holy, yeah? Mm. Uh, Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem is holy, mm. okay? Mm. That place, Mount, Mount Sinai, where Moses was, mm. yeah? That's a holy ground as well. There are, there are some places in this world Allah specifically chose to be holy places. Okay. The place Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received his first revelation, yeah, Mount Hira, mm. is a whole... It's a holy place. So why so, Allah? So um, why Allah in the Quran he mentioned the word holy only about Jerusalem, about the holy land, only. No, the Quran, the uh, in Makkah it says Makkah is holy. It says no, bless. No. Um, it, it says yeah. No. Uh, in Surah, hang on. No. It says. It says al bay al, -bay al -bay al Haram. <laughs> al Baytul Haram is not holy. Holy in Arabic is Muqaddas, Muqaddasa. The only time yeah, is mentioned when Allah He ordered Musa to go and kill the Palestinian, kill Hamas, and get the land. Allah He says, "O oh my people, enter the holy land which Allah has assigned to you." And the word "holy" is only only mentioned in the Quran in two in two places, not two verses, two places, which mean either okay. Holy Spirit, either Holy Spirit, or the holy land, which is Jerusalem. That's the only place okay. Allah He mentioned the word "holy." Now let's go back. Let us go can back. Go? We can, we can go, we can, we can go. Everybody's laughing. Who is in the Who is in the fire? No, 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 no. I've already explained that. Let me get to Makkah. Hmm. I've already explained. Let me, let me get to Makkah. Hmm. All right. Now you said Makkah is not holy. Haram means like forbidden, which means exactly. Let me no, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me talk, please. Yeah. Uh -huh. When he says Haram, is talking about there are some things. You can do in other places, in other mosques, yeah? But you can't do it in Masjid like, al-Haram. Like what? Like, like what? Like, wait, like talking, having conversations is not allowed. But in normal mosques, it's allowed. My wait, friend, let, let me continue. My, my friend, me, my no, friend, in the, in the Masjid al-Haram, the, the dogs used to piss and your prophet don't even clean. In the Masjid al-Haram, People, the Bedouin, they used to unzip and grab their private part and they piss and the Prophet don't even stop him. He says, don't stop him. What are you talking about? Not only you can talk, you can piss. I can show you the hadith about the boogers in the walls. Muslim, they take their boogers and they throw it in the Kaaba. Don't go there. So listen, listen, I really like you and I don't know why you, you, you lost your tooth, but look like you have a debate before you debated me and today you will lose all of them. You said the verse. The verse says that nobody is in the fire. Can you prove that? Okay, you don't. He didn't even let me finish Mecca. But anyway, I don't care fine. about Mecca, my friend. Let us focus on this. We can go to Mecca later. Why? Why do you mention it? Then? Yeah, because we are talking okay. about who is um, in the fire, and you are now going to tell me no, a story about Mecca no. where people used to okay. have sex around the Kaaba. I've explained to you already. No one was in the fire. Okay. okay. How how you are going against the Quran? I want to know. The Quran says in Arabic, "Buri Okay, let's I'm do this. I'm not going against it. Okay, let's do this. You're let's just do this. going against if it. If there is any interpretation, any translation beside this translation, you like me to show in the screen. Any translation you like. Okay. Just give me a second. Hmm. Just give me a second, yeah? I'll give you a... Hello, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm busy, mom. Okay, but... Uh, okay, yeah. So I just heard you talk. I thought you... Sorry, that was my brother. Sorry. No problem, my friend. I have a 20 of them. <laughs> Where are you from originally? Well, my dad, he was a terrorist, actually. So when they, my mom delivered me, I got many citizenship because we were the high hijacking airplane. Ah, oh, come on, don't say that about your dad. Yeah, I I'm I'm black, that. blonde, African American from Japan. Now give me the answer. Give me the translation you like me to show you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me have a look. Just mm. give me a second Take because a look. this one takes a lot a long a long time. Mm. Okay, this is Surah twenty seven, verse eight. Okay. Mm. But Christian Prince, when you talk, you have to stop being rude and interrupting people. It's, yeah? I'm an Arab, my friend. We are rude. Arab are rude. It says, but when he came to it, he was called blessed is whosoever is by the fire and who, who whosoever is around it. 
who is by the fire and who is around it isn't this a stupid thing because if you are by the fire you are around the fire what's, what's wrong who is the donkey he trying i mean okay. how how blessed is the one who is by the fire okay. Okay. and the one around okay. the fire because the one who is by the fire he's around the fire okay when he says okay when he says um okay let's say yeah um if he says in the fire yeah Okay, what do you understand with that? Because there's a lot, it's not in the fire. No, don't tell me, don't tell me what you understand. Is it say, does it say in the fire or it doesn't say that? Because you said to me, your, your Abdul Haq bully, he said, there is nobody in the fire, it's by the fire. So now are you biting your tongue and you agree that this guy is a liar? Um, Look, what's the problem with, let's say, it's in the fire anyway? No, 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 you see? You were confirmed and you supposed you got me busted. It doesn't say in the fire, which means if it says in the fire, then we have a problem. And now you're saying what the problem. So why in the beginning you didn't say, oh, there's in the place, so what the problem? No, no you rejected no. that because that will create a problem. So now, okay, what the problem? So now do you admit that this guy is lying? Look, I've just told you it says by the fire as well on the order. I don't care. No, the Quran says <laughs> in the fire. It's not up to you. It's not up to him. Look, can you tell me don't what tell, you think? I'm asking you. I want you to confirm. Does it say in the fire or by the fire? I've just told you. It says by the fire. <laughs> He's a liar. <laughs> if there is any anyway. other translator from the Muslim words agreeing that it says by the fire, not in the fire. Anyway, this is, this is what I'm asking you. No, yeah? don't tell me what? anyway. Not tell me anyway, because all Islamic books, and I am an Arab. I speak Arabic. <laughs> Here, hang up. By the river of Babylon. Where you go, man? What you happen? Don't jump in the fire. Something happened, Something happened mate. Sorry about Something. That. It's a genie. Yeah. It's a genie in the ball. Okay. So, can you give me another translator you accept your respect to show in the screen? Look, I've just asked you, yeah? What, even though it says isn't it what's the problem Tell i'm me asking then. you because the first question i asked you who is in the fire and now you are saying to me what's the problem are we kids oh, can you give me your version then of understanding i am saying who is in the fire this is the first question i gave you you said musa did not see allah musa did not meet allah and then the quran says that blessed is the one who is in the fire and the one who is in the fire around the fire the one there's one just one in the fire okay, it does it does say around the fire yeah okay around blessings yeah no 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 i'm not talking about around i'm talking about the one is in the fire <laughs> okay anyway the blessing hang on don't tell the me anyway of... there's no any way in the verse don't add words okay. you know don't don't join <laughs> abdul Haq, don't join abdul Haq, mr bully and add the word anyway there's no anyway it says blessed is the one in the fire explain What? I said, can I explain? Can I explain, please? So, is he in the fire or not? Can I explain, please? You can explain, but first confirm. Does it say in the fire? Um, in my translation, it doesn't say that. No. So, can I you explain, Muslim? Please? So, are you, so are you a person who called me based on a translation of a guy who converted yesterday to Islam? Not yesterday. He's been a Muslim for, and the people that helped him. How, they were how many years he became? A, he's a Muslim. He's been a Muslim for like well over 50, 60 years, something like that. 50, he's 60 an old years? Man. 50, yeah, he's an old man. He's, just, he's okay. like in his 80s. So, uh, I, don't, I don't even okay. know whether he's alive or okay, not. Okay, hold on, hold on. But now we have a big problem. Your idiot, he is taking sentences from the Quran. Can I can I explain? Um, can you um? Are you going to you explain why he's an idiot? Or you explain to me why the verse is missing? Can you stop calling people idiot? I'm Why rude. not? Why yeah. not? It's an idiot, my friend. It's an idiot, the one who take for granted somebody. He just he converted to Islam. You said to me 50 years, who care? But he, obviously, he don't speak good Arabic. He is not an Arab. And he just took a sentence from the Quran off. And he is doing altar to the Quran. He's altering the book of Allah. And now you are calling me to teach me about your religion from an altered book. The verse in the front of me, the verse in the front of me in Arabic, you can open Ibn Kathir, you can open Al Qurtubi, you can open a, 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 any any book you want, you can open any any interpret like translation, you will see all of them they say, Blessed is the one who is in the fire. 
You took it off totally, and now this is your execute to say it doesn't say that, CP. Okay. Um, can I respond, please? Because this is your problem. Yeah. You can you open your camera? We missed your teeth. Um, I can't. I can't. I can't actually get back. I don't. Because I don't use Skype a lot, actually. Yeah. Just so, a, just a click in the camera, like where the fire is. Plus, who is in the fire in the camera? Where? Because this is the first time actually I'm using Skype. You okay, click, so at, where click at the camera at the video. It says video between the the blue and the red. There's a there's a sign, an icon. You know, if you click in it, oh. that will show us your tooth. But by the way, I've only lost one of my teeth. You know. <laughs> I, I, I know. It looked like you like maybe you, you met my my little my little cousin before you came here. <laughs> <laughs> now I was doing um because I uh, um I was doing boxing and that so one day I just got my teeth knocked exactly out, you, you know? are doing boxing with my little cousin my friend those my my cousins they are really <laughs> some something you know I can't see it though please help me out I can't see the red thingy here okay my friend so can you open for me any Islamic interpretation for the verse and you will see that you are wrong no, Ibn no, Kathir Al Qurtubi Al Tabari Al Jalalain all of them they say wanna, the one in the fi the one in the fire. I want to respect you, yeah? I want to go back to the camera. You can see my face. I'm not scared or anything. No, no, no. I'm, I don't, not... I'm sure you aren't scared. I mean, you are losing your, two, your teeth and you're scared. A, per, a person who loses teeth, he is never scared. But but now you are scared from the humility because you just approve a book altering the Quran and you are trying to teach the word from a book which is a false translation for the Quran. Okay, 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 okay. Let's say, yeah, yeah. It says, isn't it? Yeah. What's the problem now? <laughs> I, this is the question. Who is in the fire? No one is in the, it's just a blessing. When it says blessing, yeah. Where, blessing where is the word, the blessing? Well, the, hold on, hold on. It says a blessed is the one, not a blessing. Who cares about the blessing now? Blessed is the one know. in the fire. So there's somebody in the fire. Who's in the fire? Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Because you're like, the way you talk, man, you just, you don't let people talk. You confuse people. <laughs> yeah. This is your tactic. Are you, are you admitting yeah. I'm getting you confused now? You just admit that I'm getting you confused. Well, it says here by the fire. It's not in the fire, man. My friend, don't, you know? don't force me to hang up on you. I don't have time. I, I don't want to be insulting, but you are talking like a kid now. I keep insisting that this is what it says. Open any other translation and you will see it. But you don't want to do that. You're stuck with the Abdul the bully, Abdul Haq the bully, who is bullying your God, altering your Quran, and you are taking what he say to debate me. So if you repeat the same thing again, I'm going to hang up on you. At least for the day you can call me tomorrow. If you are, what about uh, I give you, oh, listen, what if I give you an uh, opportunity to study it and come back to me? Don't hang up, all right? I want to talk to you more because um, okay, I want to get... Then, then tell me who is in the fire. There's no one in the fire there. Okay, <laughs> okay it's not a lie. I just... I mean, I have all your Islamic translation. I speak Arabic. You can copy the verse. You can copy... No, no, don't call me. I don't have time for kids. I'm not going to waste my time. Keep repeating the same thing. You can open all Islamic translation. We have hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. Look how many. Don't call me. I have no time for kids. Open each one of them and you will see it says, this is Ahmad Ali. You can open one after one. One after one. Blessed is he who is in the fire. Don't call me, my friend. You are not worth it. I want you to study it. Take your time. Search it. And then you call me and you admit that you are following an Islamic sect altering the Quran. The one who made this, he is a fabricator. Here we go. So do you admit it says in the fire or not? <laughs> okay, look, please don't, don't, don't hang me. Don't hang me uh, you know, you are laughing. I take this seriously. I'm talking about God and you are laughing, my friend. You think God is a comedy for you. So I'm asking you, I'm asking you, does it say really, does it say, blessed is the one who is in the fire? Did you investigate it before you call me? 
I'm laughing because, yeah, you're behaving like a kid. Please don't do that. Because you who is a kid, you are making fun of the book of Allah. Okay. What now, okay? You, when you, you when you say when you say it, it doesn't say blessed is the one in the fire. That means you are altering the book of the one you call him God, and you are laughing about it. I'm the one is upset, and you are laughing. So who is the one a true believer now? You are not a true believer. You are making fun of your God and you are supporting the one who lie about your Quran. Or what I ask you for, can you, can you open any other translation to check it out if this guy is being truthful or not? You refused. Right. Look, I've just told you, yeah, mm. Chris and Prince, I've told uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. Why, what, let's say, if it says in it, yeah, Okay. No, no, no. Don't tell me let us say. Don't, don't tell me let us say. I want you to answer me. Is it uh, why you don't want to go and open and read? Why you don't take a three, three minutes? Go check it out I've, and call me. I've told you. I've just told you Allah is not the one that's in there. How you so, know? How you know? Because it's not Allah. How you know? <laughs> because it's not Allah. Okay. If it's not Allah, then tell me who. Blessed is the one is in the fire. Musa is not in the fire, correct? Like what okay. he says. So who is the one? So who is the one in the fire? Can you tell me? Okay. If it says, "Bless the one who is in there," it doesn't actually mean it's Allah. It may be referring to a blessing that Allah has put in there, but it doesn't ah, actually. Ah, maybe, maybe. No, it says the one. It says the one. Blessed is the one, the one, the one. Do you know what the one mean? There's a person. The one. Who is the one in the fire? Mr. Maybe. I can hear you. Go, go on. Yeah. The, the religion of maybe. Who is the one in the fire? Don't tell me maybe. It's, it says it's the not one. Allah. Huh? It's not Allah. That's, the, that, that's what I need to tell you. Okay, who it's is the Allah. one? Who is the one in the fire? I don't know who it is, but it's not Allah. Ah, you do not know who it is. So there is a blessed one in the fire, and the God of the Quran is making a stupid statement of unknown person. <laughs> Look. Okay. Where is the voice? Look. Where is the voice of Allah came from? Okay. Thank you. Can I respond now? Uh huh. The Allah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Allah can speak to you anywhere. This, okay? this is another question. Allah where is the voice of Allah coming from? Look, Allah can be where he is. In, this is another question. Heaven. Where is the voice of Allah coming from? This is what I'm telling you. Can I can I, can, can I talk, please? Explain. Okay, but don't tell me can talk from everywhere. Can Allah talk from the bathroom? Look, can I talk to you, please? Let me explain. N no, my friend, you lost all your teeth already. I'm asking you where Allah voice is coming from. Can I explain, please? I do not need explanation. Give me the answer. I, I, I'm losing my patient. No, with explanation. Where is the voice of Allah when he spoke to Musa coming from? Is it true it's coming from a tree? And that tree is on fire? The voice is there, but Allah is not actually physically The voice is there. coming there. You said the voice is there. Coming from where? We are getting closer. Here we go. <laughs> Can I explain? So you know, just tell me the voice is coming from where? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Like right now, uh -huh. right now, me, me and you are talking, yeah? Okay. Yeah? I'm talking now? No, me and you are talking right now. Wow, yeah? that's amazing. Okay. Yeah? Uh -huh. You can, me and you can hear each other's voice, but we're not actually physically there. Don't that's you think, deep. Don't you, think, don't you think Allah can do something better than this, that what me and you are doing on the, on okay. the technology-wise? Okay, hold on. So... Are you saying that the Quran or Muhammad never mentioned where Allah voice coming from? Look, Allah, yeah, hmm. can Allah's voice can be anywhere. That's another question. Why you are why you are keeping like a you know is is your real name is Rumble? You are rumbling around. Blah 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 blah. Let us play jungle bell, okay. jungle bells, jungle all the way. Let us go, let us go around all the way. Ah, so listen, listen. I'm asking you a very simple question. Why it's so impossible for a Muslim to answer a question? Where is the voice of Allah is coming from? I've just told you Allah is not physically there, but the voice is there. The voice is there where? 
Allah is oh. in his throne. Okay. Where he's at. So are you saying to me that the voice of Allah is separated entity from Allah? No, it's not. Okay. So you just say to me the voice of Allah is there, but it's not everywhere. It's only in that place. Correct? Look, me and you, me and you are talking. Does that mean your voice is separated or gone somewhere? You know, separated. separated each other. What, you are is the one. You are the one who is making difference between 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 the voice and the God. So His voice is there, but He is not there, right? Look, what Allah can do, me and you cannot do it. Ah, can, Allah, can Allah have a son? No. You just said what can Allah can do, you cannot have do it. <laughs> No, my God, my listen, my God, he can, my God, he made Mary have a son. Can your God no. make Mary have a son? He cannot. So don't change the topic now. Listen, in the Quran, just to show you, just to show you the hypocrisy of the Abdul, and this is why you are going to lose your teeth, all of them today. In the Quran, it says in chapter 28, verse number 30, when okay. he came to it, came to what? Came to the fire. When he came to the fire, the same fire we are talking about. So when he came to the fire, he uh, uh, from the from the uh, uh, the blessed blessed spot in the valley from the tree. Okay. So where is, is where is where is the sound coming from? From the tree. Look, it says that when he reached it, a voice called out to him from the right hand side of the valley in the part which was full of blessing from out of the bush musa i am allah the lord of the whole world hmm. throw down your staff hmm. when he threw it he saw it slithering like a snake he turned and fled and did not turn back again musa approached and have no don't fear. read the whole book for me so where is the voice coming from is it coming from the tree hang on, hang on. when he reached a voice called out from the right hand side of the valley in which in the part which was full of, yeah the valley yeah no 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 the tree does it say from the tree so your so your guy he skipped the tree too there's no tree hang on hang on hang on wait what hang on hang on on no, you or on the tree look you, if we have a you did, you did yeah? not read for me the word the tree at all you are a friend the convert mr bully no, he took the tree off look but when he reached it, a voice called out to him from the right-hand side of the valley in the part which was full of blessing from out of the bush. Okay. So what's so the problem with this? The voice came from where? From the right-hand side of the valley. From where? From the bush? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So why you keep saying to me the voice of Allah and Allah is everywhere? The voice I asked you a thousand times. I said, where is the voice of Allah coming from? You refused to answer. You said to me, listen, Allah is, a, you know, he can be everywhere. Allah voice can be. I said to you many times, where is the voice of Allah coming from? You refused to answer. So now we come to the conclusion that the voice of Allah is coming from the tree. Correct? No. I mean, the voice is, the voice is there. but Allah The voice is there where? Where? Are you talking about Allah physically? Don't play with the game of are you saying, are you saying, am I saying to you? Oh yeah, touch your hair, touch your hair. You know, you are going to lose it too. I will make you like Sam Shamu before you grieve. So listen, you yeah. will lose it all. Listen, 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 listen. So now, are you saying, I'm asking you, the voice is coming from where? Does it say the voice is coming from the tree? It does, yeah. It says from the bush. It, is that to make a difference? No, in Arabic it says actually shadara, which means not a bush. It's a tree. Okay, so what's okay? okay. What's your so where is the here? voice coming from? <laughs> what's your problem here? Let's make an agreement. Problem? Where is the voice coming from? Tree. Do you agree? Right. Who says? Okay. Who says, so now, so now, why he have to take off his shoes? Because that tree where the voice is coming from is where is Allah is. And when I say to you, who is in Not the true. fire? It says, blessed the one who is in the fire. Where is the voice Not coming true. from? Coming from Allah. the fire. Yeah, it's coming from the fire. So Allah was in the fire.
No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Okay. That's not fine. true. Okay, just stay. The next time, let your dad call me. <laughs> I lost my voice repeating the same question. You can call me next time I will go live. You know? I mean, what? what he's reading a translation of a, is an idiot. Mr. Bully. Abdul Haq Bully. Abdul Haq Bully, he now learned about Google Bully. So he decided to translate the Quran uses Google Bully and the translation is coming Holy Bully. The Holy Quran. No wonder Yasser Kad, he said, the, the standard narrative has holes. Not only your teeth. Look like Yasser Kad, he was predicting about your teeth too. Who is in the Quran? They don't want to say. Who is in the fire? It doesn't say that, CB. What the heck? I have a headache, honestly, because I keep shouting every day. I mean, speaking to Abdul is like being, you know, like trying to 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 train somebody is 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 in drugs. You know, he's drunk. He gave me a headache, man. If you go back to the video and see how many times I have to repeat the same question, you will see how horrible you are. And anything we show them, it's a metaphorical. The veil is metaphorical. Amran, it's metaphorical. Mary, the sister of Aaron, it's a metaphorical. The anything, it's a metaphorical. We say to them, okay, can we open the interpretation? They don't want to do that. metaphorical this is the way to avoid the embarrassment and I ask him which one Allah created first the the mountains or the stars he said what uh, no tell me tell me first tell me tell me tell me he want to know the accusation so he can say metaphorical too <clears throat> hmm It's not easy for him to leave Islam. Don't worry, he will leave Islam. The guy, he just lost, lost one tooth. He can just take them all and then nobody will recognize him. This is not my worry. If he know he opened the camera, that means he want to show himself. So, as you see, this religion is a stupid religion and Muslim cannot defend. And the only defend is to give no answer. The answer is no answer. The answer is, like... They made an article about how to debate Christian press. Never say yes, never say no. Because whatever he says to you, even if he says something good about Prophet Muhammad, he have a trap for you. Show me. Show me, show me. Show me what you want to show me. Show me. He's afraid. Well, if I show you or not, is that going to change the answer? Which one Allah created first? The mountains or the stars? What do you mean show me? You give me the answer. If I show you or not, your answer should not be changed. We are talking about something already created, not something will happen later. Show me. Because they are terrified and whatever I say is going to get them busted. Mr. Show me. You know the thing. I know the thing. You know the thing. They do not know the thing. And who is in the fire? It doesn't say that. And now I spent almost, what I don't know, 40 minutes just talking about who's in the fire. And this is Muhammad. He's telling a, he's telling a story from the Bible. But because he's a, he's a monkey, a prophet, he jumped like a monkey from place to place. And now the Muslims, they are trying to duct tape what he say. Who is in the fire? The voice of Allah is everywhere. What? Okay, is he in the bathroom? Auzu billah, he is not in the bathroom. So when they want the voice of Allah everywhere, when they want, no, it's not everywhere. When they want, Allah can do anything. Okay, do Allah have a son? No. Can Allah have a son? No. You just said to me, Allah can do anything. Do you see how hypocrite they are? Do you see how you can conquer their cult in two seconds? Allah can do anything. Are you sure?
you can call me next time. Actually, he's a nice guy, you know. I'm, but but what is not nice is to be stubborn. All what I'm asking you, go and open other Islamic website and read different translation. He refused. He's stuck with this guy. That's it. Mr. Abdul Haq Bully. Abdul Haq Bully. Allah is a physical. Are you saying? Are you saying that he's like a human? I, did I say human? I mean, they are afraid from saying anything. Is Allah is a physical being? Are you saying like he is like a human? My friend, did I say human being? Did I say a cat? Did I say a dog? I said, is he a physical being? Answer. They are afraid to answer because they knew they would be in trouble. So the God they worship is a physical being. So what the problem of worshiping Jesus? If he himself is a physical being, and as long as he's a physical me being, that's mean he is taking a space. That's mean he is contained inside the space. And if the space is created all of it by Allah, that means Allah is inside his creation. They refuse to worship Jesus because how Jesus is entering his creation. My God, he can, your God cannot. He's already inside his creation if he's God. Very funny, very stupid religion. And the only way to get away from the stupidity is to come with the metaphorical. Like the prophet, he said, when you do piss, shake your penis three times. What say you? It's a metaphorical. Okay, metaphorical for what? What's wrong with those people? The prophet said, Allah will give you 72 women and your penis will never go limp. What does that mean? It's a metaphorical. A metaphorical for what? Okay, what is the metaphorical for penis? Allah, he said penis. What? So what is the metaphorical of it? Zibril or Muhammad? Allah, he said a tree, it's a metaphorical. Allah say fire, it's a metaphorical. Allah, he say angel, it's a metaphorical. I mean, everything is a metaphorical. Hello? Oh, okay. What? I did not pay the bill? What bill? Oh, okay, I promise you to pay the bill. My friend, it was a metaphorical promise. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. When I say I promise you to pay the bill next month, I mean metaphorically. Yeah, which means like will never happen. Didn't I say to you, inshallah? Okay, as long as I'm saying inshallah, it's me, will never happen. Thank you. Don't call me again. It was a metaphorical bill. Are you stupid or what? What? You will take me to court? Which court? Metaphorical court. Wonderful. Will I meet you and I will send you a metaphorical lawyer. And don't forget please to submit the metaphorical papers so we can read them in the front of the metaphorical judge and then I will have a metaphorical punishment. Thank you very much. This is the religion of Mr. Allah, Mr. Zucchini. He is once in the mouth and once in the... <clears throat> Metaphorically, everything is metaphorical. Who can beat that? What a stupid religion, metaphorical. So this Muhammad, he steals stories from the Old Testament, from the New Testament, he put it in the Quran, and now he messed it up. Like the story of Adam, you know, he taught him the names of all things to prove that he is God. I will give you a name which nobody of you know before to prove that I am God. Have you ever heard of something or someone, his name is Joe Biden before? Never. What is the name of the president? None of you knows. He himself do not know. He think he's, he's, a, he's Joe Biden's wife. Metaphorical. And by the way, I'm going to invite you all for a lunch metaphorically even the story of Jesus when 
he blessed the food and thousands of people you know ate from it they say that Allah he sent him seven whales in seven loaves I mean where did this guy is getting this story from seven whales are you sure not falafel are they metaphorical whales and you know what the story says that the disciple of Jesus they said to him hmm why you don't ask your God to send us food from heaven, huh? Mm? Mm? Mm. Uh, okay, yeah. And then Allah, he sent seven whales in seven loaves. And those disciples, man, they said they cannot even stop eating. What the heck is that? Seven whales in seven loaves? No sauce? What about spicy ketchup, maybe? I mean, the stories of Muhammad is beyond the metaphorical imagination. Flying carpet, the ant speak, the ant she got tempted by the beauty of Suleiman. You know what? I'm so handsome, but this has never happened to me. But in the other day, I can confirm that I was standing, this is in the summertime, not now, I was standing in the dirt and a bunch of ants, they crumbled over my feet. At that time, I never thought about it in a sexual way. But now I understand these are female ants. Have you ever heard of ants tempted by the beauty of a man? Solomon was so sexy to the point even ants, they are in love with him. Put yourself in the shoes of the ant. She have sex shoes. She look at Solomon. Me, look at this. Especially when you look from down, you know? I mean, from down you can see things different from seeing from above. You know what I'm taking, you know what I'm saying? So this ant, she look up, what the heck is that? What Solomon he have there? Mean. So the ant, she told the other ants to hide. And when Suleiman, he asked her, why you told the ants to hide? Huh? Do you think I am not a justice prophet? Don't you know that I'm a prophet of Allah? She said to him, Solomon, I was afraid that the ants would be tempted by the beauty. That's deep. My friends, females are dangerous. They are human or ants, it's the same. They bite you. Mm -hmm. Look at the poor cinnamon now. He is a target for the ants. I mean, this is not good. He go inside the palace, the ants are following him. Now I understand why in the 17, 18 floor I saw ants. I said to myself, even here, why they are coming here? Oh, oh boy. I made you look like a crazy person when I am out remembering things you have said. Okay, I will tell you a story of a guy. He was sitting alone in the car and he was listening to me and there's nobody in the car and he was in a busy downtown and everybody was looking at the car, you know, and the guy is laughing. So they thought he is crazy. He did not notice that the people even gathering around him looking, what the happened to this guy? He is like his, his face, he is sweating, he is crying. They are not sure, is he crying? Is he dying? Is he going not? What happened to him? He was just listening to me. CP, what is the problem? No problem. Did you say problem? No problem. If you have a problem, you can go to Andrew Tate School. He is the smartest in the world. This is why he sent messages, I want to rape you. So they can use it against him as an evident. This is how stupid he is. The smartest in the world. Have you ever heard of somebody sending a document saying, I sign me, my name is Andrew Tate. I agree and I admit that I am the one who did rape this woman. And by the way, I'm the smartest person in the world. 
So we don't have a problem. The Quran is made by a smart person. Andrew Tate, he have his Quran take it to the court because he think it's made by a smart person and he's a smart person. So everybody, they fit, they fit together. Or they are a smart person. And only smart person will listen to the Quran and believe the Quran and believe and rotate. You have to be genius or smart, not only smart. Hmm? What is the problem? No problem. So guys, do we have a good time? If you don't have a good time, take a hike. If not, don't forget not to jump in the bike of Andrew Tate. They are taking it. Just to let you know. Okay. Do you want to escape the matrix? Yeah, guys. I've been attacked by the matrix. Here we go, Muhammad. Muhammad. Exactly, Muhammad. Muhammad, when he received the first the chapter of Muslim recite every day, Al-Fatiha. What happened to him? He was attacked by the mattress. Each time he go out to do poo, -poo Muhammad he hear a voice saying, Oh, Muhammad. Matrix, matrix. He ran away and he spent between his legs. Read it. The Messenger of Allah, Allah blessed him and give him bees. Whenever he went out, which means to do poo, -poo used to hear someone calling him oh and whenever he heard this he used to flee oh how cute this god he have a 24 hours a day to call muhammad he call him only when his pants are down and muhammad squeezed it and it was a brown and then the voice come and Muhammad get terrified. Oh, Muhammad. And Muhammad, he flee. Hoo, 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 hoo. He go like crazy. Warak ibn Nufal, who is expert with poo and revelation. He advised the Prophet to remain in his place when the caller called him so that he hear what he has to tell him. Look at the genius. This guy is smarter than Muhammad. Muhammad is just an idiot. He heard the voice. He flee. You know, like, what the heck? So the guy said to him, what's wrong? Just wait. wait. Just wait. Wait and see who is talking to you. So, and so when he went out, he heard the calling, Oh, Muhammad. So he said, uh, Okay, here, here I am. Uh, at your service. Like, what the heck? At your service. Muhammad, he just heard a voice. And now he is saying, is that a genie in the ball? I am at your service, sir. Okay, Muhammad. First of all, please put your pants up. It doesn't look good. Oh, okay. Now, open your mouth. Ah, uh, I did not say ah. Uh, just said open your mouth. Okay. And now I will give you a revelation. Let us start cursing the Christians and the Jews. Okay, I love it. Don't talk. I'm giving you a revelation. This is religion. This is how God, he gave his, he, he heard a voice. And what is the voice of Allah coming from? Allah is everywhere. Is Allah in the bathroom? No. I mean, those Muslims, they throw at you answers. And not, this is why they are trying to be careful when they speak to me, is like, don't give answer. What, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Christian Prince, don't stop me. You are you keep interrupting me. You see, when the Muslims, they speak to someone, the other person is not like me. He, he can get away with his uh, insult or lies. Christian Prince, why you are not talking face to face from behind the hijab? I got him busted. His God, Allah, is behind the hijab. And why you want to see my face to face? Do you think I'm scared of you, potato? Already you lost your tooth. They cannot answer you, so they start... They try to slander you.
anyway uh what do you think guys we have enough for today right did we have a good time if you don't have a good time metaphorically you can pray to Allah metaphorically to make me look like Muhammad metaphorically look like everything in this religion is a metaphorical the Prophet he says you can beat your wife metaphorically you beat your wife metaphorically yes yes brother you talk, you beat her with toothbrush toothbrush really are you beating her or tickling her uh not sure is it isn't it this is a penalty so, so no no you Muslim you beat your wife seriously you beat your wife with toothbrush yes 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 we, this we we use toothbrush uh, what how about war do you use toothbrush too uh, no 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 uh, uh, so the prophet he says I will kill everybody of them convert to Islam no 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 this was metaphorically what? metaphorically so my friend if you are wondering why we laugh at your religion because it is laughable and you Muslims have no idea what you believe in and this is why you are in trouble and I encourage this gentleman next time we go live on air to check what we ask him to read and then he can call me maybe tomorrow if we come live you know God is willing and then he can give me the answer but don't give don't insist with something is so stupid it's a shame that you are accepting a corruption for your book and insisting it doesn't say that CP so I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you all until I see you soon again this is your brother Christian Prince was serving you humbly for today take care and don't forget to make a comment don't be cheap I mean, I know most of you are cheap, very cheap. I'm not going to say why, but at least make a comment. It doesn't cost you money. You are so good in the chat. How come you are dead in the comment section, in the like, in the link sharing? Don't be hypocrite. We have enough of them. God bless you all.